we are live what's up everybody listen where is the market going portfolio management live where's the market going the real question is where's your portfolio going let's make it happen join me happy friday we're back we're back on scheduled programming everybody what's that meme i heard let me post this on twitter that we are live let me let twitter know let me let twitter know let's go Yo, Twitter family, we live right now, bro. We live. Jump on in. Here's the link. Boom. All right, let's go. What's up? Oh, I sent the message. I didn't get pinned. Let's get that message pinned right now. Hold up. Hold up. I got to get people to join. Guys, so I'm going to send out the Zoom link. If you want to join, we are live. What's up, Naveed? What's up, young kid? What's up? What's up? If you guys want to join, I'll send the link. DM me on Telegram. Let me post it in the chat. Hold on. Let me get there. Let me post. What am I posting? Live on YouTube. Doo -doo. Jump on. Drop the link. I don't even know the link. Oh, baby boy. I appreciate you three for jumping on. Thank you. Thank you. Let me just post this on Twitter and let's talk about it. What stocks you guys got? Today's Portfolio Management Live. What stocks you guys got? Tell me, what is your biggest position? Tell me in the comment section. What is your numero uno position? Gotta hate YouTube Live. Better than nothing. Holy that. Professor, it's Sebastian Q. This is my son's YouTube. Got you. What's up, Sebastian? Sebastian, DM me on Telegram. I'll send you the link to send to the, uh, the, uh, the, the PK family. And I'll send it to you. So they can jump on. So then we can still have our portfolio management live. Naveed, what happens here? IG, it's down. That's it. It's just down. Nothing happened to it. It's just down. All right, copy link. Jesus. This is one of the many reasons why I don't like YouTube Live, but it is what it is. It is. And tweet. Tweet it. All right, people. Let's rock and roll. Eddie, thank you. I see you, Eddie, in the, uh, the DM you just sent me. So let's go, guys. Jump on if you want to. I got Neo like 30K. Ooh, what was your entry, Neo? Uh, Naveed, what was your entry on Neo? What was your like 40? Ew. I got the spy on, by the way. We're going to talk about the spy, Ethereum, and Bitcoin. We'll talk about that towards the end of the show. But let's look at Neo. I haven't looked at Neo in a bit. How's Neo doing? You bought it at, what'd you say? $40. Let's see. My God, that 19 bucks. That 19 bucks. Let me jump to the daily chart. Oh. I mean, what was your reasoning for Neo? What was your reasoning? Why did you get it? Because for me, I'm not a fan of the Chinese stocks. I'm just not a fan of them. That's just that's just my thing. Who's on the Zoom right now? I hear voices. Who's that? Whoever wants to turn on their video and talk, I'm here. No. I'm here. I see a few people joining on the Zoom. <laughs> the, the link sent. So if anyone wants to turn on the video, have a conversation. You're, you were on YouTube, by the way. So just watch what, you know, just so you know, for those that don't like being public. Uh, don't like to be, yeah, public. In front of a camera. Okay, you bought it at 40. It's at 2077. My God. So you're down 50% on that. Down 50%. I would, you know, again, you're welcome. You're welcome, David. My thing is with, again, I just don't do Chinese stocks. Even if I did a stock, let me ask you a question, David. Why didn't you do Tesla? Let me ask you that question. Ricardo, what's up? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. If anyone that's watching the YouTube wants to jump on, DM me on Telegram. I'll send you the, the Zoom link and we can do portfolio management live. That's the only way we can do it. Yeah, to bring you guys on with me on Telegram through uh, Zoom. So boom. If not, then I guess we'll do it the old school way, which I don't like doing, but whatever. It's fine. Hey, can we get on the Zoom? Yeah, let me give you the, yeah, hold on. Here, let me give you the link. Message me on Telegram. 
and I'll give you the link. There. Let me just drop it in here. Now my brain wants some weirdo. All right, hold on. Hold on. Ten four. Let me do it. Let me copy link. All right. Let's bring you on. All right, send. Please have your audio off and then gently come on. Don't come on too aggressive with the uh, so loud. They were doing pretty good in China. We're doing good in Europe and her deal with them recently. Got you. Okay. Valid. Valid. That's, that's a good reason. That's a good reason. We got 25 people watching. I appreciate you, 25. Got seven likes. Let's get those likes up, people. Let's get the algorithm pushing this out. Last time I went live, I got a few new PD subscribers, so that was nice. Again, anyone who wants to jump on, I dropped the link. So I'll, you know what? I'll just, I'll just talk about stuff until anyone jumps on. I dropped the Zoom link. The Zoom link's right there. Please jump on, uh, turn your video on, and then turn on your audio, and then let's talk about your portfolio. You guys already know. So let's look at the SPY, right? Until someone jumps on. I'll talk about the SPY right now. Let's talk about the SPY. If you let's jump to the monthly again, I, I talked about this on Tuesday. Look at the overall trend in the market. People are panicking like the world is ending, but look at the overall trend. You know, it's not even that bad. You know, COVID, where's COVID in here? COVID wasn't even as bad as people thought it was. This is this is by the way, all of COVID right here. That's it. And then it rocket shipped. Then it rocket shipped. It wasn't that bad. It's holding at this level. I can tell you that. But these are super bearish. Trend is downwards. But it is holding. You know what's crazy? The next level down ain't hot. Ain't hot. But let's talk about something. Look at the RSI. This is the RSI on the monthly time frame. If you look at it, it's been in the extremes. Where's my pen? It's been in here. Now this is too similar to the other color. Let's go with white. If you look at it, the RSI has been in the danger zone for far too long. For far too long. Eventually, we needed that cooling period. If you forget about what's happening with the market inflation, you forget about all that for two seconds. If we just solely talk technical analysis here, so what does that mean? We have a little more room for bloodshed. We have more room for bloodshed, more downwards trending, all the way as long as it, you know, until it gets to support or the 30. Can it get below that? Of course. Of course it can. But let's, let's look historically though, right? Let's look historically at the RSI for a second. Let's zoom out. You know what's interesting? I'm not even going to show the candles right now. I'm not even going to show you the candles right now. Check this. And then I'll show you the candles. This has been done in the past. So you got once rally. Two, rally. Three, halfway, four, halfway, five, halfway. So now, this is the interesting part right here, right? Halfway. You think maybe this will go halfway? <laughs> How many of you, tell me in the comments. How many of you would love, this is the, again, for those coming in late, the spy the monthly time frame that looks like an X monthly time frame how many of you just let have some fun in the comment section how many of you think this is gonna bounce no I got a better question I got a better question 
How many of you wanted to bounce here? And then rally. How many of you wanted to go here? So this is A, this is B, and bounce from here. Tell me in the, in the comments, A or B, and tell me why. I want to talk about that. Because I, th I then I'm going to ask you what you guys think I wanted to do. I'm pretty sure people would know what I wanted to do. I'm pretty sure. Do, do people know this is RSI? This is the RSI. Boom. The SPY monthly time frame. Am I in the way? Break below. Well, Kev, be more specific. Be more specific, Kev. Boom. Am I in the way? Let me see. I'll stand right here. I'll stand right here. There you go. All right, what do you guys think? Let's go. Tell me in the comments. What do you think? David says JP and Goldman Sachs said recently that Neo might go up to 30 April in the six months. Needs to in market expansion. Okay. MFG Sosa says you want B. Well, forget what I want. Why do you want B? I'm not commenting if I want B. What's up, MF? What's your who are you, MFG? So I said, like, give me your name. I see MFG Money Flow Gang, but like, do I know you from IG? Like, what's your IG name? Because you know, photographic memory, if you're loyal to the lives. But you guys tell me why. You're saying B, but tell me why B. Tell me why you're saying B. My hair's a mess. My hair's a mess. And seminar students, if you're watching, um, I'll stay late after the show's done. You want to talk about stuff. That you don't want to talk on camera. I know some of you, again, don't like being on camera. So let's go. Uh, break below the half point and go down to next support. More, it keeps testing like it will break below. Okay, Kev, but why? Why? Hello, first time joining. Excited to learn. Oh, my God. Matthew, it's not your first time. Matthew, pretty good. Be oversold. But Mark, yo, Mark. I was waiting for you to watch the show. I was thinking about you for the past few days. Mark, message me on Telegram later. Whenever you get the chance. Message me on Telegram later. I want to I wanna tell you something. Boom. I'm assuming you're Mark Torres, Mr. Uh, Mr. 2K. I'm assuming that's you, right? My name is Marcos. I'm from NYC as well. I'm an MFG. Welcome, Marcos. B, to get more deals, buy on the cheap. Robert, you got it. Robert's answer is what I wanted, 100%. I have, and that's what I want as well. That's what I want as well. Robert's on the money. Again, I know a lot of people will probably want A, the half bounce. I would prefer for B, more deals, more discounts. Oh, who's joining on the Zoom? Who's joining? Who's joining? Eddie, baby boy. Yes, sir. How you doing? I'm doing well, Eddie. Eddie, give me two minutes. Uh, Anna's joining. What's up, Anna? Give me two minutes. Let me finish this. You want to do portfolio management, I'm assuming, right? Oh, I, I'm just, I just logged on right now, so I, I didn't hear what was going on. Oh, well, I'm just finishing a lecture on the spy, but I was saying, are you, you want to come on for portfolio management? Like, talk about any tickers you got? Um, no, no, I don't have anything. Okay. All right. Hang out then, I guess. So, um, <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. So, point being, point being, I, I rather, again, everyone each their own. I would prefer B. More deals, more discounts, all of that good stuff. All that good stuff. And then, the second part, I'll turn the candles on in a second to show you. Also, more bloodshed for a few more months. And then months and months of a rally. Months and months of a rally. For those that have patience and they waited and they held strong and they had conviction, you ride. You ride the waves all the way back up. That's what you do. Naveed, yeah, I pinned, I pinned the Zoom link. Anyone can jump on. Anyone can jump on. I pinned the Zoom link. Uh, uh, people fam the YouTube family watching. Just click that. Jump in. Boom. Okay, I'm on. 
I'm gonna hear some noise. Baby boy. I hear Christian. Okay. So now my name is Mark. I got that already. Mark. Yes, that is Mark. Yeah, Mark. Message me on Telegram later. I want to tell you something. Um, all good. What's up? What's up, Jose? And boom, be all day. I agree. So I'm glad we're all on the same page. I'm glad we're on the same page. So boom, that's my thoughts. But let me show you the candles now. Let me show you the candles. For you guys to see where the bloodshed was. Let's go. So let's go to the first bloodshed. Let's see how we can make this bigger. Can they see? Yeah. Make the honor side here. Candles here. Boom. Boom. All right. Let's talk about it. So this was 2008-2009. Let me write that here. For those that can't probably see. 09. Devastation. RSI devastation. Found support and rallied and rallied away. That's what happened. For those that think that the market's over, the market's a scam, all that stuff, that's fine. That's fine. You know, I was thinking about Nunez. If someone got Nunez's message, uh, number, message him. I don't have it on this phone of mine. But Nunez called it. Nunez called it. And I told him not to be such an extremist when it comes to it. He goes, everything is going down. He was saying crazy numbers. And he was on the money. And I actually had to talk with him. I'm like, yo, you got to chill. You can't get like that. But he was right. Even though I told him to chill out. But he was on the money. He was on the money. Point being, it's happened in the past. If you ever feel like you're scared of what's going on and you, you feel hopeless in what's happening with the market, pull up trading view or your stock charts, whatever you use. Go to SPY, uh, macro out to the monthly. And just look at the bigger picture. This has happened in the past. This is not an anomaly. This is not some randomness that just happened. This was expected. This was expected to happen. Just like I expect the rally to happen in a few months. So boom. Uh, beef, wait for a rally the way you wrote MRO for so long. Correct. And same with JetBlue. Same with JetBlue. For those that are going to be looking for a stock to trade all the way back up, we should do a live on that. We should do a live on that. By the way, next Tuesday, the live will be on trend lines. 8 p.m. line will be on trend lines. Actually, I'm going to see what time. I will be at the NFT event next week, all week next week, all the days. I'll be there learning about NFTs, learning how to create one for my seminar students to give that away for free. So boom. Speaking of that, remember, guys, July five-day seminar. It went from four to five days. Boom. Link in the link is pinned down there. Becky, showing me that fire closet. I don't think that's a closet. And she ran away. You think our economy will, will be that weak for SPY to fall that hard? You think our economy will be that weak for SPY to fall that hard? Matthew, be specific. Be more specific. And you got the Zoom link. Just jump on. Why are you asking me there? Jump on the Zoom link. Needed to come back to retest areas that weren't tested. Yep. Can you do more Zoom calls like this so I can join? I do it. I'm going to do it every Tuesday and Friday. I'm going to do, I do it every Tuesday and Friday. Uh, MFG Sosa, I, I used to do it on IG. IG's down, but I used to do it. I'm going to do it every Tuesday and Friday. Boom. From 8 p.m. to whenever. Naveed, your video is off, my brother. Your video's off. Uh, okay, let me try to fix it. Go ahead. Uh, MFG Sosa, I'm a full-time trader. MFG Sosa, jump on the Zoom. Click the pinned message on YouTube. You'll see the link to Zoom. Jump on. Jump on. So boom. So that was this. That's one. Oh, Naveed's back on. Naveed, what? Naveed, why do you look familiar? Uh, I've been to your show one time before, like six Got months ago. You. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I appreciate you coming on over to this side. Thank you, Naveed. Mm -hmm. Talk oh, to me, my you. brother. Say again. I said thank you for helping me, you know, learn and you know become a better trader. Uh, you're welcome. That's why I'm here. You know, I was gone because I had COVID for so long. Because even if the IG was down, I would have still came on YouTube. Mm -hmm. But I wanted to be 100% because you people deserve 100%. You don't deserve me being 50%. Be like, all right, guys, I'm out after like 15 minutes. So, boom. Appreciate it. 
Of course. So talk to me. So Neo, man, I can't. So for me, again, this is yeah. me, my opinion. I cannot, if anything Chinese, again, I'm nothing against the Chinese. The Chinese mm-hmm. people look great. The government is super corrupt. I don't trust any of their fake things that they be doing behind the scenes. So for me, I could never hold anything Chinese. But you got Neo mm-hmm. and your biggest position is Neo, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got like a 30K in Neo. It was what was your pretty profit good. target, Naveen? <clears throat> profit target i would so i think this is what i learned i mean i watched it on um um so so jb morgan and they had a other uh you know like a guidance on it and they said it's gonna go next six months or year it's gonna be around 300 percent up so we're looking at only 80 bucks 75 80 bucks it's the next six months a year so i was like you know what let's hold on to it it might be like another tesla but they're doing pretty good in terms of cars and they are you know um the other stuff is pretty good. They have uh, they got into Germany like uh, last week. They were in uh, Denmark, Finland. They have new uh, market expansions, and the cars are pretty good. They don't have like too many um I don't know, too many bad raps about it in general. So that was the reason behind it. So I, I, that's that's what I was thinking about it. No, I, I like what you said, and that sold me. You were hoping it would be the next Tesla because imagine, and I feel you when you said that. It clicked mm-hmm. for me when you said that. <laughs> Because yeah. if you would have got in when Tesla was at those early cheap, like forty dollars, you said forty, $40. right? Yes, that. Was... And Tesla went into the hundreds and then the thousands and the splits and all. Baby boy, that I can't even imagine the amount of money you would have had just from your thirty k investment. So actually, I understand. I completely <laughs> understand where you're coming from on that. One day, maybe. Well, who says one day it can't? <laughs> we never know. That's true. Because at the end of the day, China will be the next. Great, great country after, you know, I don't want to get into this conversation, but empires <laughs> and civilizations fall. I mean, it's all, it's all about history, you know, it has, to, it's bound to happen. You cannot control it. It unfortunately, has to happen, you know, that's, that's history. You're, you're in Canada, right? From what I remember, Naveed? No, I'm in U.S. You're in, which, which state? Uh, Virginia. Virginia, got you. No, yeah. you're 100% right. Historically speaking, and that's where my information is coming from, historically, mm-hmm. every Destroy. single civilization, empire, nation has down. eventually fallen. And then we know for a fact that the next one will mm-hmm. be China. Yep. So if, when the day, whatever that happens, God forbid, you know, not in our time, we live in this country. If that happens, no bueno for us. But if that I does happen, not. Neo will go to the moon. But I think I'm getting a little crazy here with what I just said. <laughs> but I'm just saying. Well, I mean, everybody has their own opinion. We respect that. Let me look at this. Uh, so your sell target, you said is what, what did JP Morgan say? 70, 80? Yeah, that's what 75 to 80 dollars in the next six months. So I don't know how realistic that is. I like what you said. <laughs> how realistic that is. I like yeah. that. Naveed. But I've been like selling that. uh yeah, I know you don't do options, but I've been selling covered calls on them. So I've been making a little money on that covered calls, and um, I've been doing every month. So I'm bringing in around like $500, $400 per month. That's like a passive income using using my stocks. So what do you have? Because again, I you, you already know. And thank you. And I love whenever yeah. someone comes on, they say that. I know you don't yeah, know because yeah. I don't. Because I want people to know I don't know nothing about options. <laughs> so I like that you said that. So what did you do to get that? I got to get um Ashton. I got to text Ashton Nolan to get on. Yeah. But how did you, like, how do you get that money? Sounds like a dividend. How do you get it? So, so kind of his dividend. So what happened to covered call? So you give somebody uh, a right to buy a stock at a certain price. Let's say I, I own Tesla for 400 and I said, professor, you want to buy it at 500. You're like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to sell you 500. If it goes to 500 next two weeks, next two weeks, you're going to give me premium. Like you're going to give me 200 bucks for each contract. If it doesn't go to that level, no, basically no, no, you're better. No, that, that part I know, but what I'm asking hmm. is, what do you have to do in terms of clicking or doing something to get that? What oh, are you doing? It's super easy. It's like two clicks. So you just go to, um, because most of my stocks I have on Robinhood and I have a Weeble because it's a long term. So I just go to uh, we- Robinhood and you just go to an option, just sell, uh, you sell a call option. Mm-hmm. That's what I do. So you, that's, that's a it. call. That's it. <laughs> and how many times a day or week do you have to do that? So I do bi-weekly and monthly. So I do like a once a week. And if I think market is bad, I do monthly. So because you can say bigger picture. And that's it? That's twice a month. That's it. 
and you get 500 bucks just coming in and your and yes. your neo stock is chilling there yeah even if, even if this goes down i don't care as long as my my strike price is a little higher i make money if neo goes down it goes up I, unless you know something goes super crazy the neo goes above my strike then i will be in trouble but even if that happens, you can roll over. So the other strategy, you can just roll over next month. Yeah, I pay a little bit of money for the person, whoever you know, wants on it. And then I get my right back and then just do the same thing again. And you can't lose your NEO stock, right? There, there, if you don't know, you could lose it. If you just get too, you know, if you don't know what you're doing, but if you're a little, you know, like you're, uh, you're not too greedy, that's, that's the way. Well, of so, course. Yeah, you know, like I, the way I look at it, I look at it, you know, I just want to make 10% on of my portfolio, like our yeah. total. So if you make 10%, you can do it. But if you, you can make 50% too, that's possible. But that's the reason. So if you stick with 10%, Delta like 20, Delta 15, that makes you money. But if you come down close to the strike price, where that's where you can lose. But there's always possibility to lose all your money. I mean, as you know, options are, they're very, uh, Wait, I don't even know. If, in, even in covered calls, you can lose all your NEO stock? You could if you if you mess it up if you don't know what you're doing. Like, yeah, I mean you know options are very. Um, no, no, I don't no. Know. options I know, but I thought covered calls was a little safer way of doing. It. That's what I was told. I don't know, man. They are safer in a way, but they're like they're way safer than other option uh, strategies. But you need to know a little bit at least. You should know like what covered calls are like fundamental. If you know that, you should be good. That's what I think. Oh, and who taught you? Uh. So mainly uh, Austin, the guy, you know, I met through you. Austin? Yeah, that's his name, Austin. Oh, Ashton. Yeah, yeah, oh, Ashton. Ashton. Sorry, yeah, Ashton. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. And and you, uh, I've been watching, uh, I've been watching, uh, I read so many books. I've been doing my, there's so many like uh, tasty works, so many people I've been following. Uh, and I watched some, I took some courses from Ben Zinga and just doing all research. That's how I learned. I tell myself oh, basically, just keep on doing it. So you're not in Ashton's group chat? I'm not anybody's group chat, so I'm not following anybody. I just take it, some stuff from every single person mm -hmm. and take it and, and internalize it in my own mindset and just come up with my own study. Okay, I like it. Yeah. Cool. I got to get yeah, Ashton on. I know that's yeah. a big, big thing. Ashton. Yeah, he loves, loves it. He, he loves it. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, All right, fixed. No, because I remember um, Ashton, is it, I don't know if you would know this because I've been off of IG, I don't know. Did Ashton's mm -hmm. course come out yet? His big covered calls course? Uh, not yet, he's working on it. Okay, cool. Yeah, I gotta get him on the Zoom. On I gotta get him on Zoom next week, you know? Yeah, that guy, that, yeah, he, he, knows, he knows a lot of it, man. He's pretty good, he's pretty good. Correct, that's his thing. All right, so Neo is the big one. Yes, sir. So if you look at it, if you look at the RSI, same thing like I was talking about with the SPY. I'm on the monthly time frame. Mm -hmm. It looks like we have, again, a little bit more. It's curving, but it looks like it'll probably pull back some. Let's see what happens. If you look, though, when did this candle start? I'm on the monthly. 12 days left on this candle. If you notice it, Naveed, and I know you probably know. Let me circle mm -hmm. it. Let's get rid of the RSI. Again, we have 12 days left, so anything could still happen. But what does this candle look like, David? What is that? Um, it's pretty weak. Pretty weak? Yep. And this is the, these are the Heiken Ashi candles. This, this is yep. what I use. I like the Heiken Ashi. This mm -hmm. means a reversal could yep. be coming on NEO. Yep. So good news for you. Good news <laughs> for you. You know what I know? And I want to ask you a question because I've been thinking about that because I've been creating content behind the scenes. Ever since my IG's been down, I'm working on content. And I mm -hmm. was thinking, when it when it hits like 45, will you hit sell or will you still hold on? Even though you've been, how long have you been suffering in that 40? How many months? Um, almost six months. <laughs> and let me, so if it hit 45, would you sell, Naveed? No. No? No. Interesting. I, I'm not, I'm not, because... The principle, you know, as you talk about, you know, when you want to buy something, just you should have a story behind it, why you want to buy it. So the reason I, I bought Neo because I, it's, it's a good company. How long in that 40? How many months? The time, sorry. Um, six months. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> There's too many people. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah. No, it's okay. Um, what's up, Henry? I'm not, I'm not, because principle jump on if you want to jump on jump on in a few let me finish with Naveed and you can come on yeah. eventually you can come on after I, I, I bought I don't because I, I this. It's, it's a good in that 40, huh? okay Henry and you gotta mute the YouTube too 
Yeah. So, so the reason, so when I got into, I bought, I, I bought Neo like year and a So I got into Neo a year, year and a half ago when I started doing uh, stocks, when I learned from you. That's when I found you. And that was the first stock I started working and learning how it works. And I, and Wait, I was your me. first? Yes. You were the first person who got me, you know, like started with stocks. Thank Wait, you. Wait, what that. was it? What was it that I, that, got, that I did that got you? Um, so, so when I started it, everybody, you know, they just tried to sell me some shit. You know, they, they had some, <laughs> this idea, you buy my course. But you didn't, you didn't talk about like that. And I don't know, you were easy. You're being, you were not being fake. That's what I'm going to say. You're being, Wait, your, your voice was too low. I, just, I was being what? Can you hear me? Is it better now? Talk a little louder. Yeah, so let me just fix it. Is it better oh, now? The AirPo- you got AirPods on? Yeah, I can disconnect and connect them again. If it's yeah, too yeah, bad. go ahead. Go ahead. It's always AirPods. I right, give you one second. No worries, Naveed. No worries. I'm here. So as, I, as Naveed is fixing his audio, guys, as I was saying, I'm, this is Neo on the monthly time frame. I can actually candles. Every time you see this, Hello? reversal's coming. Sí. Is it better now? Lo hago. Lo hago. Antonio! <laughs> Gotta love Zoom. Gotta love Zoom. Got to be talking, right? Uh, yeah. So, yeah, when I, so you were, you're not being fake. Like you ah. were just being you know, original. Thank so you. that's what I liked about you a year and a half ago. And like, I don't know, somehow I found you on Instagram. I think it was because uh, there's another guy, I forget his name. His name was, uh, he, does, he does real estate. Yeah, don't say his name. I know we talked about know. I don't know. I'm sorry. Okay, never mind. Wait, so, you I don't stuck know. around you stuck around me, not him. I I didn't like him. I don't know, man. I don't Why? like him. I don't know. <laughs> he can't, you didn't he say his kind. name, so it's okay. Why I'm not saying him? I'm not saying his name or anything. I don't know. You know, like I, it wasn't a good vibe. Like for you, I don't know. Like I could trust you. Thank That's you. the thing. You know, like sometimes like some some people you it's not he's like a, I'm not saying he's a good or bad guy. It, I I don't know what kind of person he is. He might be a bad, I mean good person, good for him. But like you were not being fake. I had a vibe with you and I trusted you. I said this guy I could learn from him. And your system was easy and you you simplified. Thank you. That's what I liked about you. So yeah, year and a half, and then you talked about you know just stick with two or three stocks and just just learn how the stock moves, what it does. The company it's easier. You know when you're new, you just want to make things simple. But I started with new year and a half ago. At that time nobody talked about it. Everybody thought like. Chinese stocks are, you know, get bad and they were not doing good. So that's what I started following the company. And now everybody's going over, you know, like a JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, they're just going crazy about this stock. Like they're even buying it. So I did it that time. You know, I didn't have, that's all I had. So what I had, I did it. So I, I held on to it for a year or so almost. So I still, I won't. So your question was, you're going to sell it 45. I won't. So I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to keep on selling covered calls as much as I can. So I can bring back my money. Got you. Okay. I like that. I like yeah. that. All right. I appreciate you, Navi. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you stuck around. I appreciate the loyalty. I appreciate that so much. It means a lot. It means no, a lot. See, no, you, you, you are doing an incredible job. Seriously, it's, just, it's great because I never thought, I don't know. I didn't know, like, you know, how this, this you know, the virtual world works, you know, people are, you know, <laughs> just wanna, they just want to scam you for no reason. Every time I, I talk to somebody, they just want to scam you, but you are not like that. You know, that's a good thing about you. And you're not trying to sell your course every single person you talk to. Oh, wait, my course, course is free. free. Naveed, my course exactly, is free. exactly. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, you're not, you're not trying to sell people, you know, because you're, you're, you know, you're, in, you're like, your credibility is way higher than majority of the people I see. Thank you. Instagram. Thank you. Well, remember, uh, t- you know, in defense of everyone else, just, just <laughs> so I'm saying, I am the only one out of them. Again, I don't know everybody, but I know mm-hmm. I know majority of the financial influencers on social media. They're not teachers. They don't have degrees in teaching. It's not their mm. thing, you know? They're good at trading. They're good at mm. making courses. They're good at that. It's just teaching is not their thing. Like last time I checked, I know all of them. Not one of them has degrees in teaching. I'm literally the only one in the space. So that's my thing. That's it. I guess that's why you're so good at it. <laughs> Because you. because you have the experience and you understand people because when you when you have different kind of students they have all kind of same issues you know even though you're teaching something else but you know how people struggle and you just go easy step by step even though sometimes we ask you same question and you still you know what I know because you've been doing this and other people they just you know like effort I don't know man these people are too much for me <laughs> <laughs> that's why I know. that's why I I wrote the book how to yeah. be a consistent trader so now I'm like all right you got the course. Now you got the book. So technically speaking, you got all the sources. And I'm yes. working on the fifth edition because I don't know. Did you watch my live on Tuesday? 
I couldn't because of work. I was no, busy. no worries. It saved. It saved on YouTube. I talked Perfect. about how when I was teaching and a lot of my students were struggling because they're like, professor, the blue chips are not working for us. And I'm like, you know what? Let me show you how to short penny stocks. And boom. So I started doing that now too, because I, because I saw their frustration in their faces. Cause there's one thing to be vir virtually seeing you is one thing. Having you in front of my face, feeling your energy, seeing how you're feeling about everything is a whole different experience. And I saw the frustration because then I realized a lot of people don't have a lot of money to trade the way I do, to be able to trade and make the amount of money because they only have a little bit. So I understand their reasoning to trade mm -hmm. options, calls, puts. But that's why, again, if they don't know anything about options, if they don't even know how to make money trading shares, they'll get destroyed both ways. Well, oh, man, this options. This option is like you know, it's like a double sword. You you might you might make good money, but it's gonna destroy you like within within a week. Yeah. The key yeah. part again, like I always say, and you know this, you've been following me for so long. A thousand dollars, blue chips, consistency, yeah. slow and steady, and eventually move on to more money, or then you can jump to option and learn that. But for those people that got burned too much in options, penny, I'm gonna show you how to tr uh, short penny stocks at the next seminar in July. I'm going to teach the break it all down and other stuff as well, too. So boom, boom, boom. Great. No, this is because I started with stocks. I mean, I, I think I followed you for six months just to learn how to do. I, I had no idea how to do technical analysis. So I learned from, you know, how to go daily, monthly, everything. And then after that, I took that knowledge because options are like options are based on technical analysis, basically. Yes. So if you go, you're going to you're going to do so good. I don't know why you're not doing it. But if you do, you're going to make some. It doesn't make <laughs> sense. Naveed, you, you've been following me long enough. The I know, second I know. someone brings up the options, I swear to God, true story. The second anyone <laughs> brings up the options chain, true, this side of my brain starts hurting. Like it slowly starts and increases if they don't stop talking about it. So this is this is what I look at options. Like, you know, it's like a it's like a big car. You don't have to know how every part works. You just have to know how to how the brake works, how the how the speed works, and how the steering wheel works. If you know those things, you can drive a car, but you don't I've have heard. to think about it. I've heard. So this is what I believe. So I, I'm like a driver. I'm not like, I'm not a mechanic. I don't know everything about stocks. I'm sure if you go, I mean, you, I'm, I'm sure you know more than you think you don't because you have the knowledge in general. But So this is what I look at it. So I think, okay, I'm going to do whatever I'm comfortable. So I'm good at uh, 30 miles per hour. I'm going to go 30 miles. I don't have driver 70 or 80. So I have to stick my uh, my comfort zone and my safe zone. Once I, once I master that, then I'm going to go a little by little gradually. And then I can step into, okay, how, how does this work? How the Greeks or stuff like that. So this is what I look like. I don't know everything. I mean, as you know, see here. So options, they're even complicated. But uh, I don't know every, I mean, it's, it's, it's perfect for you. You know, like you're doing a good no, job. You. Well. I've been told that you don't, Professor, you don't need to know all of it. There's some parts to it. I just need yeah. someone to come on and teach me. Maybe Ashton Nolan or one of my uh, seminar students yeah. will come on. Let's see. I got to make it happen. I got to message him. I got to set up a live and have him come on. I got to make that happen. Yeah, yeah, that guy's pretty good. I mean, I've been following him two other options, so he loves cover calls. All, yeah. all his IGs are cover calls. That's yes, <laughs> everything out of his mouth. I, I'm like, literally, I don't know. <laughs> when I was on IG a, a month, I think it's been a month. I don't know. Last time I was on IG, he was on my live, and almost everything he talked about before he, I'm like, cover calls. He's like, yeah, yes. I'm like, everything, yes. and I love it. That's his thing. Good for him. That is true. That is true. Yeah. Anything well, else, baby boy? And you want me to professor? Anything else? Just, just, just last question. So, what do you think? So, should I stick with it? So, what would you suggest? Like, like I, I know me. it won't be specific. Know, so, what do you think about? Uh, I'm talking about Neo. Like, what should I do with Neo? Like, just so, what would you suggest as a as a teacher? Well, number, well, number one, <laughs> it's your biggest position. Number mm -hmm. two, let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's turn on regular candles. Why is this green line here? This is dead. This support line. Let's get the hell of this line out of my. Okay, here we go. So let's talk about it, right? Here's the thing. If you notice, where is it? You've been following me long enough. I'm on the week, uh, monthly chart, guys. <laughs> what is this? The cluster. It's already formed a cluster right here, Naveed. It's holding. So that's mm -hmm. a good sign. It, yep. For example, give me a really, uh, guys, in the comment section or here, someone give me a really bad ticker. Not a penny stock, but like a really bad ticker. Anyone? Anyone in the comments or Naveed maybe? Anyone give me a really, really bad ticker? Like it's been doing horrendous. Good. Uh, a farm? Good? Okay, <laughs> Becky. <laughs> Becky's listening. 
Becky's listening, cry. She goes, hood. <laughs> Becky, I'm waiting for your DM, girl. DM me later. I plan on doing it. I've just been busy at work. I will do it. No worries. No worries. I just, I just need to know the location because I'm about to book it. That's why. All right, here we go. Hood. Perfect. Thank you, Becky. You're the best. Thank you. If you look at Hood, it doesn't have a lot of data. I look at other tickers. I see you guys giving me tickers. You notice, Naveed, it keeps falling. It hasn't stopped yet. Keep, keep your eye on that, guys. Everyone watching, keep your eye on that. It hasn't stopped falling yet. So that's, that's a good sign. So far, that's good. Let's look at another one. Uh, Emmanuel says Disney. I must, let's see. I don't know. <coughs> Disney, damn. Is Disney doing that bad? Let's see. Disney, for God's Excuse me. It's Disney, for God's sake. How bad is Disney doing? Woo! -hoo -hoo. <coughs> Woo! Goddamn. Goddamn. All right, back to this. You notice how, Naveed, again, same thing. It has, okay. it, has it stopped falling? No. Nope. nope. I'll give you nope. one more example, and then I'll show you your Neo, where mm -hmm. it actually looks pretty good. And let's look at one more. PLTR? Mm -hmm. Really? I looked at PLTR the other day. It's still, it's not falling anymore. Let me see. Last time I checked, PLTR stopped falling. Yeah, it stopped. It's holding. We got two candles mm -hmm. holding now. It stopped falling, guys. I checked on, I checked on PLTR. That's my favorite ticker, even though I'm not... <laughs> in it right now um so let's look at another one ha okay so i wanted to give him three examples what's ha hawaiian holdings okay cool uh, this is okay this is not what i want what else this is okay what do we got uh docu okay d-o-c-u d-o-c-u perfect again same thing to be See what I'm saying? Now, yep. let's go back to your Neo. See that? Yep. Good sign. Good, good sign. sign. Everyone, you can do the same thing for your tickers. Revlon filed for Chapter 11. Revlon, the makeup company? <laughs> That's failing? How the hell is the, uh, I, again, uh, Robert, can you tell me why? I, I don't really care. I just want to know because I find that surprising that a makeup company is failing. Makeup's booming. All women just, that's the thing. Why is, why is Revlon failing? Okay, let me look at Revlon. Our Professor, Revlon was fired today. Why, what's the ticker for Revlon? REV? REV. -E REV. Who's talking? Who's is that? Oh, that's Sebastian. You shorted this? No, I uh, I went long on it. Let me see. <clears throat> oh, it's been uptrend. Oh, let me see. Let me see. Zoom out, bro. Okay, I see that. It stopped falling, and somebody's pumping this bad boy up. Oh, my God. Why? Oh, man. I, I should, this should have been shorted. I, why, why was I not informed of this? Guys, this is a great short right here. I've been shorting penny stocks lately, but goddamn, I missed out on this. All right. So Revlon, can someone tell me why? Anyone tell me why they're filing for chapter? I don't care. I just want to know, though. Sebastian, do you know why? I know you don't care either. I just want to know. No, I just I just saw it was a, a high mover this morning in the pre-market. So I looked at it, did a quick technical analysis, and took a trade on it. I like it. I like it. I want you to jump on later and tell me why you traded this. Let's talk about that later. You know what? That's a good idea for live shows. Have traders come on and talk about the trade they took. Oh, my God. Someone take a note of that. Do I have a pen? Why do I not have a pen next to me? Sebastian, can you DM me that? Absolutely. I got you. Th thank you, brother. I think that I'm going to make that a live show. Traders come on and talk about the trade they took, why they took it, and what were they looking at. I like that. I like that. So, Naveen, back to you. And Sebastian, come <laughs> on. Let's, let's do that for the first time today. Let's talk about your Revlon trade. Let's try that out for today. But let's go back to Neo. Right. As I was saying, as I was saying, Navi, look at this. What time frame, or the monthly time frame? It stopped falling. It's holding. It's curving. It has. It could be fake. It could be a fake out and come back down. But point being, it has found support and it's in a cluster. So boom, mm -hmm. boom, 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 boom. So I like it. I'm with you on this right now. And these are regular candles. But now again, show, I showed you Heiken Ashi. This represents, if you, you got my book, Naveed? I do. 
So I'll show you a textbook. Now, I don't like calling my book a textbook. I'll show you exactly what it looks like in my book. Where are you, bro? Here. Check this, Naveen. I'm going to bring it on camera. I don't know how it's going to look, but hold on. Let me fix so I can see it from the camera, too. All right, here. Let me show you. For those that don't have my book, link in the Bible. Hold on, come on, train yourself up. You see this right here, Naveen? Yes, I do, I do. Hold on, Naveen. Ah, oh, because it's inverse. No, no, I, I can see it, it it's visible. I can right see it. here. Yes, exactly right And there. then the reversal comes, Naveen, with Heike and Ashi. So the reversal oh. for your Neo, it's coming, baby boy. Oh, that's pretty close, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a so good news. I, I'm liking it. Even again, I'm not in it, but I'm liking it for you. I know, and even if it's a Chinese stock, still you like it. So that's the big thing. <laughs> <laughs> I like the chart. I only like the chart. I like nothing else about it. Yeah. Will Neo one day be worth hundreds of dollars? I'm sure it will be. I just don't trust nothing that comes out of China stock related. That's just me personally. That's just me no. personally. I just can't do it. I think it's totally fine. You know, it's totally fine. Yeah. yeah. As long but, as you know. Mm -hmm. But this is good. This is good to be. Thank you, Professor. Thank you so much. And You're I'm going to go and let somebody else, you know, take over and talk to you, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you for coming Thank on. You. Thank you for your loyalty. I appreciate your time, Navi. Thank you. Th Thank you. Thank you so much. I'll go You're on. You're welcome. Bye. All righty. That was awesome. That was a good first, uh, what do you call it? Portfolio Management Live in a long time. I like it. I like it. If anyone else that's holding, what was the guy's name who popped up and I, I asked him to pause? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? MFG Sosa, if you want to come on, uh, turn on your video, baby boy. MFG Sosa, if you want to come on, more than welcome to turn on your video, your mic. I'll give you a few. If not, then I'll ask uh, Sebastian to come back and he can talk. We could try out that thing. So I'll give you, because I see you're watching MFG Sosa on the Zoom link that I sent. But I know you said you wanted to join. So I'll give you a few. Let me answer some YouTube questions. Did anything YouTube? Uh... Sophie Sophisticating said Riot. Sophie Sophisticating said Riot. That's what you guys call Sophie now? Oh, it was autocorrect. Sophie said Riot. Okay. Professor, if I told you about my trade, you would laugh at me. Matthew, jump on the Zoom and tell me your trade. Supply chain disruptions and heavy debt. I'm assuming, Rob, you're talking about Revlon. Damn, that's crazy. So how's Kylie Jenner's makeup company doing then? Are they doing good? Okay, I guess um, MFG Sosa don't want to jump on. Sebastian, you want to come on, baby boy? Turn on the video if you want to. And tell me about the trade you took with Revlon today. What up? What's up, baby boy? How's it going? What's going on? Doing all, all right. Well. <clears throat> all right. Oh, he wants to come on. It says host has it off. Oh, my bad. All right. Sebastian, so I'll come I'll yeah, I'll, I'll go, but I'll let him go on in, absolutely. Thank, thank you, baby boy. Thank you. Okay, here we go. All right, maybe. Okay, here we go. All right. I, uh, where do you go? MFG Sosa gave you the power. Hey, 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 what's up? What's going on? Turn on the video, baby boy. There you go. There he is. What's hey. your name? You, you hear me well? Yep, I can hear you, baby boy. I can hear you. What's your name? Professor, nice to meet you. It's Marcos. Nice to meet you. Yes, Marcos. Nice to meet you, too. So, wait. You're, you're from GP. I know that. MFG, Money Flow Gang. If you guys don't know, Full Auto 11. Come on. I know you guys know. When did you follow? When, are you from my IG or you just came here from YouTube? So crazy little story. I want to hear it. Okay. So I actually, so three, four years ago, I met Simon because he made an event. Simon Lerner. Correct. Okay. Randomly, one day scrolling on Instagram, I found Gerald because Simon posted him. Uh, right? So this is how many years ago? I, hold on, give me one second. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yo, I love these stories, man. I love it. It's like origin stories on how we all find one another. I like that. Right. So I, I Simon posted Gerald and I was not into stocks. Wait, give me a time frame. I want time frames in this story. Keep okay. giving out. How long ago so was three, this? So three years ago, I'm in high school, right? I'm a freshman. I saw Simon online. I guess he was doing good in marketing, right? Damn, Simon's me. been around for that long? 
Simon, listen, I have all my props to Simon. Simon's the one that made me the person I am today, for sure. Oh, I love Simon Learner. Yes. So saw Simon three years ago in the event. And then fast forward, like maybe August, Simon posted him and I just resonated with his stuff. So I, I got it interested in the market a little more. Mind you, I went to school on Wall Street, but I was never interested in the stocks until yeah. Gerald Peters, you know, he did his thing. What so, was it that GP did? Damn, I wish I had my other phone. I could record this and send it to him. What did GP do that got you into this? In reality, it was just, it was all around me. Hold so, on, you know what? Let me let me record this on this phone. I'll send it to him one way or another from this phone. Because <laughs> he would like, because we, as teachers, I guess, professors, we like when people are learned from us and say nice things. So let me record this. Because he would really like to hear this. 100%. Hold on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, I hate YouTube live so much. So much. All right. Yeah, baby boy. So, so yeah. So how did GP start. change your life? Well, he, the money flow is everywhere, and he's the one that made me see it. I didn't. I didn't really see that there was tickers all over the place, and that we're already invested in these companies, and you know we can make money from it. A hundred percent. I love it. GP would like that. GP would like that. I appreciate that. So go ahead, keep going. Your crazy story. So yeah, scrolling through Instagram, found Gerald. I, I, his, his stuff is free as well as yours. And I got, I got his books. I got his books. I loved it. And then I got his course and then I started trading myself. I started with a paper trading account and then I started using my actual money. And then before like stuff got serious, serious, I also found you as well because maybe you guys were doing like a live or something. Yes. And, uh, GP came to NYC. So I was yes. like, oh, this is my chance. I'm going to go see him. And I saw him, got to meet him. And I wanted I wanted to go out with you guys next. But, like, you know, it was all, like, time. And... Wait, hold on. I was, which event? I was with him at the event. That was my event. Which event? So GP had posted, like, a little get-together in front of his hotel. Oh, that I was there. Nah, I must have missed you. I must have got there, like, a little earlier. Oh, okay, because I was there. Oh man. So yeah. And another thing is I had to sneak into the event because I wasn't 21 and you had to be 21 to get into the event. Uh, I had to tell the guy like, yo, let me go in real quick. I have to meet this guy. I have to tell him. And yeah, I got my opportunity. I saw him. And ever since then, I took MFG a little seriously, good. started doing my own research, started learning. And now this is what I do. It's what I love. I love it. I appreciate you jumping on. I appreciate you I think it's called subscribing to YouTube channel. So I appreciate all that. I thank you so yeah, much. For sure. And I also really wanted to hop on to say my thank you to you because, you know, all your stuff is free and you always bring out great energy, great positivity. You're always teaching people. And I, every time I have the chance, I hop on quickly. And today <laughs> you told me that you were on Zoom. So I said, listen, I'm going to hop on. I want, I want Are you, to see my face. Will you follow me on Twitter? On Twitter, let me check. Okay, because that's what I posted. Day Trade Prof, P R O F. The whole professor, they won't allow me to fit the whole name in there, but it's all good. Yep, I'm following and I have the, the, what's it called? Own, um, account notifications. Oh, damn, that means a lot, man. Thank you, Marcos. That, that, I appreciate that. And that, also, that another person, because I was, you know, watching your stuff and I saw that. What's his name? Nunez. Nunez was. On. <laughs> you follow Nunez too. I like that. Nunez funny. hopped on one of your lives and I saw that he was also from the city. So I actually private messaged him. And I'm like, yo, what's up with this professor guy? Like, you know what I mean? And he was like, hey, listen, listen to him and you're going to see. And time on time, I just, you know, you kept pushing and you kept doing what you had to do. And I resonated with your stuff and you were always teaching me something new as well. Thank you. I appreciate that. So wait, you messaged Nunez to check if I was good? I, I messaged Nunez. I'm going to see right now what I said to Nunez. Like, <laughs> Shout out to Nunez. Thank you, Nunez, for the kind words. Yes, yes. I messaged Nunez and I said... I said, hey, have you ever heard of Gerald? And then from there, we started just talking about you and him. 
Got you. And yeah, yeah, Nunez is my original student. My one of the, actually not one of the first, the first ones who came to the university and I taught physically before I started doing Zoom um, seminars. He was the first one at the university on campus, actually. He was the first one. So yeah, he's the original. And what's a little bit of the motivation that made you, because if I'm not mistaken, you were saying earlier that you have a background in, you know, teaching. What was the little bit of motivation from going to one to another? What do you mean? In the sense of teaching students one t- topic to stocks. Oh, I've always been teaching economics. I've been teaching for nine years. I have two degrees, a bachelor's and a master's in economics education. So yeah, that, yeah I've always been doing it that way. It moved to social media because COVID happened. I, I was sad and depressed. I had nothing to do. Saw another influencer. I would jump on his lives. From there, I started doing my own lives. And then the rest is history. And I've never stopped. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, that, that's, that's nice. the, literally that's it. It's never stopped. The longest break I ever had was when I had COVID. That's the longest break I've ever taken off of social media. The longest. Because um, even though the IG is, it is what it is. I, I got this. So there's no, you know, for me, there's no excuse to not come and teach. So boom. Right, right. And it's, you know, you, you find the, the few two or three out of the hundred and thousands of people that come onto your page that actually, you know, listen and actually do the work. And, you know, that's, well, that's how it is. Yeah. That's no, but the thing is, Marcos, that's just how the algorithm is. Because if you think about it, right, on IG, I don't, I don't know how many I have, but I think I have 20 plus thousand followers. I go live 150. 150, roughly, let's say 150 show up. Look at that. That tells you right there. There's that many humans that clicked follow, but only that many will be like, all right, let me join it. Let me just join it and learn. There's people that like to watch and there's people that like to take action. Like, you know what? Let me learn more further from this guy. So, and I'm, I'm, I'm cool with it because I understand it. I wish IG came up with an option that lets you delete inactive people, people that don't engage. I would love that button and just <laughs> clear out all of it. I'd rather, again, being an influencer, I know how the algorithm works. If I had less people, but those few, the less people that follow me were super engaged, my content will go super viral. That's how the algorithm works. So for me, I, I, I can't do that, but I would love to hire someone who could just go through my followers list and take out anyone who's not active on my live. He would sit, watch who goes active, comments, likes, uh, comments, likes, watches the live, and the rest would be wiped out. I would love to do that. Maybe one day I might bring someone on to do that. Yeah. <laughs> now that you bring that up, I remember actually sliding up on one of your posts and um, I wanted to show you now, but I, what's your IG? Um, M X A V I A R. You're probably not going to remember it. No, I have photographic memory. I just need to see it in front of my eyes. I need to see it in front of my eyes. Yeah. But, but they, um, they, yeah, tell they, me, show they, me the post, put it on the camera. I'll see it. It's your, your, your page isn't activated, is it? Oh, it's not on my. Oh, it's on my page. Just tell, oh, tell me what you said then. No worries. I I just I just slid up and I was just you know saying thank you, giving my gratitude, and you were saying like you know you're welcome. This is what we do it for, stuff like that. And gotcha. yeah. Thank you for commenting. That helps the algorithm. Thank for you. Sure. <laughs> so yeah. talk to me, big boy. Give me a ticker. Give me something. Don't come here just oh. for all the kind words, which I appreciate, of course. But give me a ticker. Give me your, if you want to, your biggest stock or your biggest crypto position that you're in that you want me to look at, just like I did with Neo. Okay, so personally, my style of trading is more of like the indices and big chip companies. Which indices? Have, which one? So but the big three, mostly the NASDAQ and the SPY due to the, you know, the SPY, I see more to show me where the market is. And the NASDAQ is the most, is down from the highest the most from out of the three. So I see the most potential in that one as well. But I also like to use the leverage, the three times leverage. I'm not sure if you ever heard of them, like the TQs and the U. Yeah, 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 of course. Did you not watch my live before I got taken on an IG? I gave you the um the the reverse. E- I forget. What, I gave a few of the reverse ETFs. You watched that. I, I gave you guys yeah, that. I, I, I saw traders there. stressing out. Oh, my God. I'm like, bro, what are you stressing <laughs> about about just do the inverse of, there's an inverse ETF that you can make money on because it only goes up because a lot of people don't have the money to short, which I'm like, all right, cool. I gave you guys that, I gave it to you. And whenever IG comes back, you, and people go back and be like, oh shit, look how much it was when they did the live on it. Oh wait, was that live saved? I don't remember. I don't save the 9 p.m. show, but maybe I saved that one because that one was kind of important. 
And it was, it was things like that that really drove me more to the market because, for example, using the SPY and the, um, the inverse, right? If one is going up, the other one's going down. Yes. If the other one's going up, the other one's going down, right? So yes. it really kind of gives everyone opportunity to be able to profit off the market. And that yeah. was one of the things that, you know, really drove me to the market as well. Correct. Let me see where that one is. I forget which ones I said. Let me see. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. SQQQ. This is one of the ones I said I like. Uh, let's go to daily. Rallying. As the market's collapsing, look at the trend on this bad boy. Let me write on the board for those that come in late to the show. That's a daily, correct? That is a daily. Yes, big boy. This is the inverse ETF. Again, when my ID's back, again, I don't know if I saved it. I think I did. Inverse ETF, this is SQ. Q. I said this is my favorite. This is the daily time frame. I did the live. I don't remember when I did the live, but I know I did the live when it was down here. So this thing has rallied while the market is falling. So point being, th th you're right. You're right, Marcos. There's no excuse not to be part of this market. There's literally no excuse. So boom. Now, like I said, if you were listening, when I said it's in the beat, Telling people that have small account, I'll show you how to short penny stocks. I'm going to do a live on that soon. Probably in two weeks, I'll do a live on that where I'll show you 99% of penny stocks pump and dump. Short them down. Every day, there's a penny stock gets pumped. Almost every day. There's a penny stock that gets pumped. Write it right back down. Set a stop loss above it. If it gets to, if it keeps going, get it. Of course, stop loss takes you out. But 99% of BS penny stocks collapse. So boom. So boom. You know what? I'll do it. In two weeks, that'll be the lesson, guys. Next week, Tuesday, will be trend lines. The week after that, I'll do penny stock lesson. Boom. So there you go. Yep. And another thing that I that I really like is um, so if you want to talk more about SQ real quick or whatever you want to, baby boy. Okay, so um just because you brought this up earlier. So you remember how we were bring up the spy again. I'm gonna bring it up yeah. on spy as well. Remember how we were saying you were using the RSI and using yes. the A, the probability or B probability? Yep, yep. So out of curiosity, right? You know, because you and I both don't know where the market is going. We could just assume, right? Nobody freaking knows. If anything about this market, what's been going on can tell you one thing. Not a single human knows where anything's going because everyone was wrong. Everyone was wrong. Even the smartest mother effers in the crypto field were wrong as hell and they're all down so that's the funny part nobody knows i'm gonna say that a lot now but david what uh which time frame do you want the spy to be on so no I, I wanted to show you something on the spy so remember how we were talking about a and b yep so also using the comparison to you know for my knowledge of looking at this on every day the ethereum and bitcoin move with spy right unfortunately so yeah it's it's and this is really where I was getting at. When I bring up Ethereum, Ethereum is currently at 1,091, right? <laughs> so, yeah, speaking from someone that purchased at the highs, right? Because I got in in August, remember? I got into all this, this stuff in August. And unfortunately, yeah. that was before everything started to go down. But, hey, it's okay. Diamond hands, right? Anyways, um, so A and B. Well, here's the best part. It is Ethereum, not Doge, not Shiba. That's the plus side. So plus side. <laughs> so if in, in this scenario, we're talking about A and B. Since Ethereum is at $1,000, I think that it's possible that maybe we might break 1000 because of this A and B scenario. Right? Oh, let's look at it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. E-T-H-U-S-D. Let's go. It has stopped falling. I don't want it to, but we're just analyzing the chart, right? Yep, yep. Let's go to the monthly. So looking at it on the monthly, we have a lot more bloodshed to go. We have a lot more bloodshed to go. On the daily, it stopped falling. But on the monthly, it ain't looking so hot. It ain't looking so hot. Now, here's the thing, right? The crazy part is, you ready, baby boy? It's never gone to the 30. Ever, ever, ever. 
<laughs> but here's the thing. As much money as I have in these things, the question being, do you want hey, it to hey, go hey. lower? We, the, I think we all want it to go lower. Never hit 30 on what, RSI or? RSI, 30. Okay. I call 30 support. It, it, on the monthly, look, it's never touched it. Okay, I see that. Right now on my end, I'm using stock charts. I see a 41 RSI. Yep, it, it's touching the 40. Why are you using stock charts? Oh, GP likes stock charts. I, I use both. I'm not going to lie. I can use both very well. <laughs> Tell me honestly, what do you like? stock? And be honest, don't say it because I'm watching. I'm here. Which one do you like more, stock charts or trading view? And tell me why. So since I started in August, right, I'm, I haven't been this for a very long time. So when I first started, stock charts was easier to comprehend. What? Right? I, in my opinion. Okay. But trading view has an app and I could use it on my phone. So stock sometimes... charts doesn't have an app? No, at the moment it does not. <laughs> what year is they like it in? Right. So, yeah. And also, well, scratch all that. The more I got into like really doing the stuff, I found out that Thinkorswim, you ever heard of Thinkorswim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They actually have all the stuff that stock charts and trader view have. But, you know, it's, it's all a plus when being comfortable with looking at the charts. However, Correct. Correct. But Thinkorswim does provide this stuff for free as well. Yeah. But I do like stock charts and trading view equally. which one you like more for for comfortability yes i would say because in, in trading view you know you don't have to press as much stuff as you might yes have stock yes charts because if you can you can turn around and look at the axes and move it around and you know you can do everything a little cooler yeah you no know, I, w- I would say 5149 you got me all right yeah. It's funny because I was talking to GP about this. Uh, Gerald Piro's Full Auto 11. He goes, you New York guys, you fancy guys with the trading view. And I'm old school with the stock charts. I'm like, okay, that works for me. I am in New York. <laughs> Another thing that also sold me on trading view as well was the, the black screen. So, oh, I love the black screen. A long time. You do. I do kind of, at night especially, I do see myself transferring over to trading view if I wanted to. In stock charts, you have the option, like a night version, but it doesn't totally... Not like this. Hate. Exactly. Not like this. Yeah. Yeah. I tell people that all the time. Like, why is everybody and their mothers not with the black screen, man? The black screen is good. Everything... I, I can't believe it took the tech companies forever to make the black mode, dark mode on your phones normal. That should have been there in the beginning. I can't live without it. Bro, my default screen on my phone is black. Same. I don't got pictures of anything. It's a black, it's all on every phone I have, black screen. Because it's good for your eyes to look at the blackness, not the white, bright, white stuff. Oh. 100%, 100%. Speaking it's about... Ba- go ahead, go ahead. But I was going to say it's off topic. Yeah, it's okay. It's my show. Speaking about um your your background, I would think you'd have a picture of the pyramids. It was so nice when you went. I was loving it. I was <laughs> telling my girlfriend, I was like, yo, we need to go here one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when you saw my pictures and my content when I was there? 100%. I, I, I appreciate it. I, I followed you since like at least the new year. All right. You're going to love it because I'm headed. To, I'm going to be going to Bali soon. I'll be probably there for one, two, three. I don't know how many months. I'm, I'm disappearing there. And I saw the villa that I'm going to live at. It's above the mountains, like secluded type stuff. So get ready for that. <laughs> I love it. God bless, bro. I, I'm also, this is a perfect chance to say it. I'm also... One proud of you and give more power to you and going to donate when you have the ability to do so for your school in Puerto Rico because I, I love that. Thank you, babe. Boy. I appreciate 100%. you. No, you don't got to donate anything. Anytime a seminar student, anytime a student signs up for the seminar, that money goes into Ethereum for the school. So you don't even have to. Every t- if, if you got the book, you already donated to the school. Because if you look in the back, even though I know Ethereum is down so much, Ethereum logo right here. So... Is this still possible to purchase your book? The physical? Uh, however you have. Well, do you have Only the, the physical is gone. There's no more physical. Um, they've been sold out for a while now. But the digital, yeah, you can get that. Uh, right there. Day Trade Professor, the, uh, it's pinned on the YouTube right there. Okay, you got it. Appreciate you, my brother. So what was I going to say, damn it? I was going to say something before. Yeah, that's Oh, fine. the pyramid. Oh, t- no, no, I, I told you. 
I need, because if I look at this in the morning, I, I don't need the bright pyramids flashing. I need the blackness of my phone. I need only, I, I'm not that kind of guy that needs pictures of anything. I just need everything black. Like my computer screensaver, black. Speaking about what you said when you wake up, um, I was going to ask you what's your routine like, but then I remember that video you made in Puerto Rico and like the 40 minute video, I watched the whole thing. And you, you. one of the questions was, you know, what's your daily routine? And you, 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 you use a lot of um, like, what is it called? Like care products. I need to get on that as well. The more well, I, I talked about the more care products. Oh, oh, you mean the drops that I take? You said like two or three of them. That's just something. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's in there. Yeah, take them. That stuff is awesome. I think that's what helped me because people were shocked. They're like, yo, how did you bounce back from COVID so fast? I'm like, that stuff. You know, a lot of people ended up in the hospital. People died. Uh, my stuff wasn't so bad. You know, got up, got dizzy. Food uh, water tastes like garbage. Um, yeah, pretty uh, bones hurt for a little bit. But other than that, yeah, God is good. God is good. I did so have that as well, right? We're good. Everybody's good. Hopefully this monkeypox thing, this MO, I can't even say it. I'm sorry. No, no. I, I don't think the algorithm is holding me against monkeypox at this point. But did you hear about, I saw it on the news today. Marcos, did you hear about the new unidentified bizarre virus coming out of North Korea? I have not. If you guys watching, if you Google it, you'll see it. It, it was, I'm like, here we go again. It's never going to stop. I want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about these things. I don't want to talk about these things. But, um, I'm glad you like that question because the person, his name is Matthew. So again, I, I, you know, people, some people, haters will not believe it, but people believe. I didn't know what those questions were prior. There was no rehearsals, no nothing. Matthew, if you look on the YouTube, M. Tobito, he came up with all 73 questions because I told him, I said, bro, excuse me, don't let me see the questions. I'm not an actor. If I know it, I can't give you a real response. The camera will know it's fake because you'll see it in my facial expressions, the way I talk and act. If I know it, you'll know it. So I'm like, don't tell me nothing. Just let it be natural and boom. boom. Right, right. Yeah. So Marcos, talk, anything else about the ticker? That's it? That's all you wanted? So we're speaking about Ethereum, right? Yeah, you were talking about Ethereum. So yeah, basically I wanted to bring up Ethereum because we were speaking about the A and B possibility. And I was yeah. saying that it's possible that right now where it's at on the daily time frame for it to drop maybe another x amount and that would put us below the thousand range yep 400s once if this cracks the 1000s gets fully cracked and the candle closes below the 1000s we go into the 400s as bad as that is for me and for as me. bad as that is <laughs> that will be golden opportunities for many people who follow me and i can preach it to the mountains get the goddamn ethereum as much as you humanly can yeah if you have to sell your positions that are BS garbage that you're stuck in, penny stocks, worthless, uh, whatever companies you're in that is worthless and you know is garbage, put it into the ETH at that level and ride it all the way back, no matter how long it takes, to the back to the 4,000, high 4,000s. Yeah, high 4,000s. Yeah. Yeah, because here's the thing, man. You know when crypto's going up, you hear nothing bad. But the second it goes down, Though it's like the whole world turned against cryptocurrency. It's to me, I, I watch the news and I'm going and I read everything that comes. I'm like, my God, it's like everyone's against it. When everyone's against it, I'm glad I'm for it. I will never turn against Bitcoin <laughs> or Ethereum. I don't care what happens in the market. Like whenever my IG comes back, Marcos, I already got the video ready. It's surprisingly, you brought up the Egypt thing. It's the video of me from my, from my uh, the, uh, apartment in uh, Egypt. Holding up Ethereum in front of the pyramids. I have that video ready. The second my IG comes back, I'm posting that. I'm posting that to let people know because I know what they're going to say when I get back. Because last time I was on IG, I think Ethereum was 2000s, breaking 2000s the last time I had an IG. Now it's in the 1000s. I still believe in it. Before any person comes to me, you still believe in it? Yes. 100% I do. Do I believe in Doge? No. Shiba, no. Um, I never believed in Luna. So I can't even say Luna. Um, so boom, Celsius is collapsing. I never believed in Celsius. So a lot of the stuff that's collapsing, I never told anyone to invest in. Trade Doge? Yeah. Trade Shiba? No. Trade Luna? Sure. Boom. 
Yeah. So speaking about trading, you, if you, you haven't changed your strategy, I think I recall a couple months ago, you were speaking upon how you don't like to hold stocks overnight. You only like to trade, right? And that and crypto game. I'll hold overnight. Crypto, I'm cool with stocks. I just, it's not in me to hold them overnight. I just can't do it. Okay. And you've well, been you know why, right? For nine years plus, right? Say it again. And you've been doing that for nine years plus, right? I've been teaching for nine years plus. I've been investing for majority of those years. COVID really opened my eyes and gave me time back, Marcos. That time allowed me to do what I do in front of your face right now. Like if, literally for me, COVID changed my life. I got it. And I, I thank God I got it super late, but I got it. I mean, it happened and caused me to become this person that's helped people. Right. People are oh, wait, answer the question though. Why do you think I can't own stocks overnight? What do I say? Why do I, why can't I do it? It's too many things impact the market. And I can't get out if something really, really bad happens. Yep. With the crypto, I can. With the crypto, I can. Stocks, you're stuck. I can't, I can't wake up to seeing that type of stuff, knowing I could have got out. Yeah. So and, boom. No, that's some of the risk tolerance you have to take. And, and yes. it's good. Everybody says this when you say this, but it's good that you know that because then you know how type of trader you are, right? Yes. Yes. A hundred percent. There's so many ways of trading the market. Like I said, when I get in two weeks, excuse me, I'm going to do the lesson on shorting penny stocks. Now people can start doing that. But if that works for you, God bless. You know? Going long on penny stocks, Ugh, I, I, I'm not cool with that. I'm not cool with that at all. Now, I'm not a fan of that idea. Because if you notice, stocks come down faster than they go up. It's more, again, depending on comfortability, people have been burned so much going long. I did a tweet about that a few weeks ago. I'm like, if you've been burned so much going long, why not try going short? I don't have enough money, professor. You got 2,500 bucks. That's all you need with trade zero. You only need 2,500 bucks to be able to short penny stocks. So boom. So no options just trading intraday and trading crypto as well but mostly long yes i'm trying to get on freaking kucoin so i can short crypto but kucoin god damn it man god damn it i gotta take the time out and try my multiple phones and see everything i can do to get them to because if, I, if i'm gonna be in bali when it's eight, like right now it's nighttime what time is it right now it's like 9 25 eastern in Bali, it's like roughly nine o'clock in the morning. Wow. So you'll see me in like a month. Because I, again, if I get this villa, God willing, you'll see the mountain, the forest, and my infinity pool while I go live with you guys. I would love that. <laughs> That's, I saw it today. I'm like, I'm getting that. And I'm listen, getting that. I'm, I'm for these Zooms. Maybe, maybe I may not hop on this whole time and, you know, talk as much as I do, but I'm with these Zooms for sure. No, but. But if you've been following me long enough, remember last year, my IG was down for three months. I never stopped. The second it was down, I immediately went live on YouTube every single week. You don't remember this? You know what? You know what I think it is? I Maybe you had it pinned because that's I'm sure that's what you did, right? You've had the, the Zoom, right? I think this time I, I commented and you answered. So I was you like... Mean, oh. You mean in the chat? Right. Baby boy, I acknowledge everybody in the chat. No, no, no. But maybe... I, I don't know. Maybe you... Didn't look at mine before, but today you you responded and I you said something about the Zoom. So I was like, hey, I have some time. I want to take this opportunity for sure. Gotcha. And and I didn't even know you were there last time. I would have waited longer. You mean Tuesday? And um, NYC when you came to the the spot I was talking about. What spot? With Gerald and Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh GP had his event. And then the next day I had my axe throwing event. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, man. It's all good. I'm always having events. I, that's what I do. That's what I do. Definitely at the next one. <laughs> 100%. You become a seminar student, you can start traveling with us. I'm with that. Yeah. yeah. I'm with that for sure. All right, Marcos, get anything else? I'll let someone else talk. Let me know. Anything else? Um, Not really. I, I can leave you with my favorite stock for any, anybody. What's your, favorite, stock. what's your favorite stock? Give me. Um, even though, you know, the market is going down right now, but although it's just a Wait, stock. favorite stock to trade, invest in, like what was in swing? What are, what are we talking here? So conservatively, I would say my favorite stocks to invest in would be obviously, you know, the indices. Yo, I got you. Besides the indices, I do. And the stock that's made me the most money 
is called the Blackstone. I'm not sure if you ever heard of yeah, it. Yeah, of course, Black. What's their ticker? It's called BX. Let me stop with the X in it. It's like cool. I don't know why. And this just personally, one of my favorite stocks. This is really what got me into the market as well, this stock. And I, I like the way it moves. It kind of moves with the spy a little bit, but I, I like it. I got you. But what do you like about it? Give me any specific. Wait, so, what, so you said investing, but what about it though? So before I, I mentioned how I really like to invest into blue chip companies and the one of this company in particular has a dividend. It has like a 5% dividend. I know you nice. like stocks, but that's, that's something intriguing for investors. Yeah. Um, also, Blackstone is a real estate company and they are asset managers. So they ask, they have a lot of assets. They have um, buildings, they have companies, they have a lot of things. And that's something that really interests me as well. And have you ever heard of BlackRock? Yeah, of course. So hey, Black listen. So, so, look, look. What's up? Oh, okay. Ashton Nolan's in the building. Baby boy, we were heavily talking about you. Ashton, if you want, if, again, no pressure, but look at the pinned message, jump on for five seconds. He was talking very high. Uh, the, the, Naveed, the guy who came on prior, was talking very highly of you. No, Ashton you also on. made, learned, taught me how to do covered calls and covered puts, and you made me some money, Ashton. You too? You made me some money, Ashton. <laughs> Ashton, jump if you can. If you don't want, no worries. I'll text you later. And we'll talk about you coming on the live. We'll do a live on Zoom. And I'll get GP on too. I'll ask both. Uh, I'll ask him too. Look, this is Ashton's book. What am I looking? It has a glare. Hold on. I can't. There's a glare on your screen. Oh, man. Well, turn this it to the, the Like, turn it. Angle it. There we go. Yes, the 10 cardinal sins of show. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I had a, my, my first live. I had Ashton on. We talked about it in the book. Your book's coming soon too, Professor. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Yeah, I love Ashton. I sent him my book. He, he posted it and talked about it. So I appreciate that. Yeah, for sure. But yeah, Blackstone, love it. Great company overall. What I was saying about Blackstone is BlackRock and Vanguard are like one of the top two. Um, they have the most assets in the stock market, right? They're, they own the most companies, right? And long story short, what I was trying to say is before BlackRock became a company, Blackstone actually gave a loan to BlackRock. And now BlackRock is, you know, one of the biggest companies now. And, you know, Blackstone gave the opportunity to BlackRock. And that was another thing that really intrigued me in the company. Gotcha. So that's your two, that's what two, those are the two positions you're heavily invested in. So BlackRock is an expensive stock. It's like $600. Right now it's Ooh. probably at $500. But gotcha. Blackstone more because of the dividend and the comfortability. You know, I don't, I can hold Blackstone and sleep at night. I won't have to worry about you know, losing my money, right? Correct. They're not, they're not going to go into zero. They're not going to be good fit in your ballot. Right, right. But I'll, I'll leave the floor to Ashton. Thank you, Professor. I'll see you soon. Ashton, I'll see you soon. And yeah, thanks, I guys. appreciate you, babe. Boy, uh, come on the live uh, when I get back on IG. Ashton Nolan in the building. <laughs> Am I on here? Am I on? You're on. You're on. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Man, it's so good to hear from you, my friend. You do. <laughs> You know what's funny? You are my first. Hold on, let me just make sure before I say yeah. You're my first uh, influential guest on my YouTube channel, so thank you so much. Well, damn, man, it's a pleasure. No, it means a lot because you're the reason. Again, I, I hate sounding like this, but you're the reason I know GP. You're the reason I know um, Simon. You're the reason I know uh, what's his name. Come on, brain. Why oh, my brain doing this to me right now? Baby boy, John, what's his name? John Beckmore. And you know what's funny? I met all three as in person. And it all came from your yes. I met all three. I haven't even met you in person, but I met all three of them in person and I met them virtually through you. How sick is that, Ashton? All right. So uh, who was I talking about? Uh, uh, Scotty V. So he, he's with Next Era Trading. Yay! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah him, him and I him and I did a live the other day. And I, I really like Scott. He's a he's a heck of a heck of a, heck of a dude. And uh, him and I were talking behind the scenes, and he's like, man, let's do an event sometime. I'm like, bro, if we want to do an event, let's 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 go big on this damn thing. I'm talking you, Professor, me, GP, uh, Simon, Sean, Scotty V, invite Chris Johnson. Uh, if we're going to do it, man, let's do it. Uh, let's do it big. I mean. 
that that could be done because you know I have monthly events. Ashton, you know. Yeah. 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 I, I know. GP so, has done an event already. GP mm-hmm. has done an event already. I've been to his first event. Um, Sean Dekmo did his event after COVID. I was there. He invited me. Um, Simon hasn't had one yet. You had one, but it was like local in your area. I have them in New York every month. I mean, yeah, I'm going to be NFT all three days next week. Are you big into NFTs or you think it's a failure too? No, I, I own some NFTs. Um, okay. I, I, I'm just convinced the majority of them are going to go to zero, but the, the, yes. the concept of them, no, I think it's here to stay. I, I You can't put that cat back in the box. I think, um, and I've been saying this for a year, you know, with NFTs, the only ones that are going to have a shot to survive are the only ones with actual u- utility behind yeah. it. So I think, you know, the whole board eight yacht club and, and I think that's going to go away. And I think it's going to go away very fast. Wait, hold on. You think the, the biggest dogs on the court, the board eight is going to be. No, gone? no, 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 not, not that one in particular. Oh. I'm just talking like just buying it, buying an image, you know, gotcha. that, that, that whole concept that, that's going to, that's going to go away very, very quickly. Um, I, I, the only NFTs are going to survive the actual, with the actual utility. So let me give you an example. I bought a handful of the Ty Lopez NFTs. What was his NFTs called? Uh, OG, the original garage NFT. Oh, but so, the, here's my Lamborghini. Yep. Ah. Uh. Yep. The, he is, he's, he's like, he's just like Gary V. He is one of the best marketers of our generation. Yes. He, he is with i i love his con- i've been following him for like six or seven years man and um he rolled out his in- own nft and i'm just like okay yeah but show me some utility then he started rolling actual utility behind it and that is you know if you buy x nft you get you get you're the only one who gets access to a certain group of hotels around the around the world i'm just like that's what i'm talking about wait if you buy his nft you get access to a special hotels yeah, so he owns he's he's uh, he's buying up all these hotel these hotels across the world. What? Yeah, so and if you own you only get access to these if you own one of his NFTs. That's sick. You know what's crazy? I'm headed to the NFT event. I don't know if you heard it's like the Bitcoin event in Miami. I'm going to be at all the days next week to learn more cuz I want to make my own up for my school that I'm building and give it away to my seminar students for free. So this yeah. is interesting that you said that. That's crazy. Yeah, he's got he's got a whole bunch of shit, man. And like one of one is one of his NFTs is like if you own like a black card version of his NFT, you you he flies you out to meet with him for a week. And I'm assuming that costs like hundreds of thousands, though. I'm assuming. Uh, well, at the time, this I mean, this is when Ethereum was above three thousand. I mean, so I, I think it was, it was around like 40,000 40, bucks or something like that. That's it. That's it. Oh, okay. Never mind. Then that's nothing. Yeah, and then he, uh, he he's he's a big econ guy, right? Yes. So he has another uh, NFT to where if you own this particular NFT, he he and his team will build you out a an operating Shopify store and just give it to you. It's, I mean, that's utility right there. It's a, I've never heard NFTs do any of what you just said. It's crazy, man. What? Okay, this is, I, I'm glad I'm going next week then. I'm super glad because I did not know any of this. Like, I want to learn more. Yeah, I'm actually, now that Ethereum, uh, well, crypto in general has come down, I'm, I'm thinking about buying some more of his NFTs, you know, if, if, if I'm being honest, because because I, I I only need one, right? But there's not there, there's no reason that not to have like six or seven or eight of them in your back pocket because you can keep one and flip the rest whenever crypto recovers. Correct. Valid. Valid point. And speaking, how you been? How, what's up? How you been? I miss going live with you on IG. Just tell, tell me how you been. Man, it's, every, everything's been great, man. I, uh, um, the, with the markets been, been the way they have been, um, your boys just sitting over here, just chill. Covered calls. Cover call. Well, everything, everything. <laughs> Cover calls is just like the tip of the iceberg. You know, yeah. it, it's, uh, it's that's like the bread and butter you know yes. um then it goes to cash to gear puss then it goes to uh selling credit spreads and a lot of you know a lot of people i start to introduce this to um most of which 
they're just exposed to the options as stay away from them because they're really yeah. risky. Yeah. But if you just, if you use options like they're designed to be used, you, I, oh my gosh, there's the, the opportunities are, are boundless, you know, but the problem is with options is that 95% of the retail traders don't use them as they're intended. Right? What, I mean, so after what is they tell me what are they tend to because I know nothing of options. Well, they jump into options strictly as a leveraged vehicle. Yeah. Right? Be, because you can buy one option contract which is equivalent to 100 shares and then they they're looking for the 5 6 7 700% gains, you know. And that is a very real possibility. I mean, I've had I've had several of those. But those are fewer and further in between. Mm -hmm. But what options are designed to do is okay, if I buy an option, that gives me the right, not the, op the, the, the obligation to buy 100 shares at that particular strike price. No, hardly any retail traders use options in that manner, mm. right? Let's flip the script then. Okay, the other way you can use them. Instead of paying the premium, why don't you receive the premium and become your own insurance company, essentially, right? You become the casino. Not a lot of people, not a lot of people do that either. And that's exactly those two scenarios are exactly what options were designed to do, you know, and I'm trying to get people to start, start thinking in that way, instead of making a quick flip of your option, use them as they're designed to. And now, honestly, I'm, I'm really, really surprised. This is, this is kind of rhetorical, but I'm really surprised that like, this is even legal. I mean, you know, it's like you mean, uh, what, the way you're doing options legal because it just prints money. That's what you mean? Yeah, it's 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 it sounds too good to be true uh. because because it's beneficial in two ways or th multiple ways. But I, I think the top two are one, your consistency is through the roof. Mm. Right. So I, I was actually just tracking my trades today just on the, the, the contracts that I've been selling. So, and I was looking at them since I think through March. So it's been what, four or five months. And my accuracy is like 94%. God bless. So, but, but the trade-off though is I'm not making five, 600% on, on every trade. Mm -hmm. That's, I, I, that's not what I'm shooting for. You want consistency. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I have enough capital in the game. Um, and this is beneficial to both new traders and experienced traders to where I have enough capital in the game. I, I'm, I'm done with the, the highs and the lows. I, I've been there, done that, got that T-shirt, right? So that's good. So it's beneficial for experienced traders in that regard. But for beginner traders, what is the one thing that you're striving for? Consistency. Yes. You know? So that, that's, it's, it's a win-win. Exactly. Exactly. How to be consistent. That's why I called it that. Yeah. That's the goal for everybody. Yes. So, I, I mean, how many times have you seen uh, a new trader? I'm guilty of this as well. Whenever I first started, you have, oh, you're on a hot streak. You have eight, nine, 10 winning trades in a row. Then that one trade blows out the, yes. the eight, eight wins that you had. Yes. That is very difficult to do when you're selling options for premium. So, I mean, and if you, if, if you, if that does happen to you when you're selling options, you're doing something very, very, very wrong. Um, but, you know, selling cover calls and selling cash to your foot, that's nothing new. You know, I, I, people come to me like, oh, you're the covered calls guy. I'm just like, I'm like, hey, this has been around for a hot minute. I'm like, this is nothing new, but it's just like with any other trading strategy, there's a million different variations and ways you can go about it. And all I do is teach how I do it. That's it. So I remember before I got taken down on IG, I was, I, we spoke about this. I'm like, let's do a 9 p.m. show. Um, let's do it in like two weeks. Because I already have trend lines, uh, teaching trend lines next week. How about in two weeks, come on the show. If you can, if you're busy, no worries. But if you can, come on the show. I'll use a smart board. Do a lesson on covered calls. Like the, uh, the what, covered calls, we'll call it covered calls 101. What do you say? Just text me. Done, done, done. When is your course coming out? Your covered calls course. Last Man, time I remember you were working on it. Yeah, I, I'm working on it. And I, oh, I have so, I, this, people are getting antsy on this course, which is, that's not, that sounds so cliche to say, but I've had so many people ask me about this damn thing, including some of our peers, 
Nice. Right? I, I've had I've had about five or six people come to me and well known traders on social media saying, "Bro, when, when, when are you going to roll this out?" I, You're I, the I only wanna... one in the influencer world that I hear talking about it as aggressively. You're the only one that really talks about it so much. So you're like known for it at this point. Well, it's, I've been saying this kind of tongue in cheek the past couple of weeks. I'm just like, you know, there's certain, these people are starting to come out of the woodwork now. Like, uh, Oh yeah. Now I hear everyone talking yeah, about covered yeah. calls, but I'm saying you were before any, I've heard from anyone and my lives are there when I back on IG, it's there, it's recorded. You talked about it, but now, yes. Why is that, Ashton? Why is everyone talking about it? That's a good point. Why? Here's why. It, it's a psychological thing. Because now, now that a lot of these traders, they're struggling. They don't want uh, anybody to, they don't want anybody to know they're struggling. Uh, right. And, uh, you know, that, that happens. I understand. I have empathy for that. But what they're doing now is, oh, find i'll show you a way to earn passive income passive income during a bear market so now they have that sell right God. okay okay that's what it is you're right you're right yep. it's like those um i'm not friends with them but you know one of the ones that i'm not cool with anymore you know what i'm talking about anytime something new comes up they hop on the new trend that's what's going on god okay and it's, you know what's yeah, funny it's, Ooh, it's, i should talked about this Oh, I'm not new to the game. I mean, I'm new to this game of influencing. You've been around for how many years, Ashton? Uh, I started like May of 2020, so right when the COVID, right when COVID first started. So we're fairly new. Omar Ashraf is the original, the original. He was saying how he's seen so many people come and go. It's crazy in the oh, influencer yeah. world. I wouldn't know about the past. I was never part of this stuff, dude. I, I, I mean, even in the past two years, I mean, I too many to name you know and, and it's a shame it's a shame because you know I, I i want everybody to do well i want everybody to flourish but you know if, if you get into the if you get into the content game and, and for all the wrong reasons you're going to fail and you're going to fail fast agree you're, you're just going to run out of steam but um Agreed. you know with the with the cover calls and with everybody coming out of the woodwork my thought is where were y'all during the bull market <laughs> Because that and that just shows that just proves right there that they don't know what they're doing because now they're pu pushing the narrative that, well, you can only do cover calls in a bear market. You, no, you don't know what you're talking about. Cover calls are better in a bullish market. The premiums no, are higher. No, tell me why. I don't know anything about this. Pr premiums are higher. And what does that mean? That means that their contracts are selling for more. Oh, so God. as as a, as the stock price goes up, as does the premium and the contract prices, so you're getting more money. More money, God. So why weren't people talking about this during the bull market then? I I was. I don't know. No, 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 I, don't I know, know you were. I know you were. But okay, I, others, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. It's I I think because at, at that time they were they were. It was easier to sell. Like, hey, look at this four or five hundred percent gainer that I made on this Got options it. play, rather right. than focus on cons consistent cash flow. You know, hey, you do your thing, man. You know, but, um, and I, you know, if, if let's say every trader on every social media platform just started talking about cover calls and just selling, selling for premium in general, there's more than enough opportunity for all of us to because there's a lot of people on this planet. <laughs> yes. you know for Brilliant. us all for us all to reach and for us all to teach so yes you know yeah and the thing is the majority of our circle is good we all come around you come on each other's shows we promote each other we post each other on our stories so i don't i haven't seen that really it's very rare for us to see now i'm not coming on your show only from one person i'm not going to say it on live and i'll tell you who it is that one person but it's his reasoning is ridiculous why he doesn't want to go live I don't believe in that reason, but it is what it, well, his, I'm not going to say his name, but his reason is I don't want others to know about my uh, audience. I don't want, sorry. I don't want to expose my audience to your audience and I lose some of my audience to you. I'm like, uh, that's a reason to not come on a live. What? Yeah. I mean, I, I, it's from my, I can only speak for me and my experience jumping on lives and collaborating with, uh, with my peers there is no lose scenario yes. in that. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a win-win, you know, it gets you exposure, it gets me exposure. 
By the way, most importantly, it offers exponentially more value for the people watching it. Boom. You know what it is, Ashton? You and I are God-fearing people. We're big believers in God. So we know the secret to the universe, secret to God. Give back because Jesus gave back, man. And that's what we do. And we don't have that. We don't have, oh, man, if, 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 if I promote the professor, no one's going to buy my course. Like, what? No, it doesn't work that way. Both courses will be sold. Both, both of us will be promoted. People will appreciate both of what we do. Yep. Your content is the best. I remember in the early days of COVID, I used to see your content. I'm like, this guy is hysterical. I love <laughs> this. He's putting another spin. No one puts I know you. I don't know if you know this, but you're the only one that puts that spin on the content to make it lighthearted and learn at the same time. I can't do that. I'm not funny, but you bring the funny into the trading world. You know, that's I'm so glad you said that because that, I really appreciate that because that that is the content that I enjoy making the most. Yes. You know, it's, it's like um, and my wife brought this up to me just a couple of weeks ago. She's like, you haven't done you haven't done a lot of uh, very much funny stuff lately. I'm just like, damn, you're right. So I've been getting back into it and I'm just like, cause you know, you know creating content can be a long slog, man. <laughs> it, it's a lot, you know, and you, you, you tend to, to get sucked into certain uh, styles. Right. And there for a while um, I was just doing like a lot of chart analysis. Right. But I'm just like, and now I'm getting back to the fun stuff and, and it's like rekindled a nice new passion for creating content and, um, I, that's how I, I found I, you. That's how I, I separated you from everybody else because I'm like, this guy's stuff is funny and I'm learning stuff with me. My stuff is not funny. I'm the, the professor, very serious. Like my content is serious. And I'm like, that's all I know how to do. All right, you, you know, you know how you make a post, right? And every content creator does this. You make a post and then you post it and you rewatch it. And you, re you, you think to yourself, damn, that was a good post. <laughs> <laughs> So, so there, there are some posts that I make, um, that I watch. I'm just like, that is funny as hell, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, by the way, do you remember whenever I did that, uh, meet my stock fam on Instagram collaborating? Yeah. Post? yeah I love that one. Dude, I, I, dude, I, I, I just watched the very first one I did. Cause you were part of the uh, part yes. one. Appreciate and, you putting me on to that. Thank you. That shit still gets me fired up, dude. Because I the song it. is like, dun, 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 like whatever yeah. the hell, you know. And then, and I saw, I didn't know any of those people except you. I'm like, EP, okay, let's get this. Oh, sh who's this Sean Deckmar guy? Let me look into him. And then the others too. But you haven't met any of them in person, right? Except GP. Gerald's the only one. Yeah. Sean Deckmar, man, he's amazing. I was at, that's why I caught COVID. I was at his Miami event giving a lecture. He's, his energy is, Sean Deckmar is amazing. He, he's, he, he's, he's such, I think this is most important above all else. He has a, he has a good heart. He's a good human being. Yes. You know? um, but yeah, it's, it's funny you mentioned that. It's all coming full circle because that's where it all started. It's from, there's so much that stems from that one post. Yes. It's yes. incredible to see. I love seeing that. And, and the reason why I bring that up is because I just did part three. Oh, you released part three? I did. I just, re well, I just, well, I just posted it yesterday. Who's on it? Who was left that you didn't cover so, in one and two? So one and two, I, I, I'm trying to remember who I had on the second one. You had everybody. One. You had all the big players. Chris Johnson was on the second one. Yeah. People attacked you for not putting him on the first one. I remember the, I remember the comments. People did not like you. Like, where's no, Chris I, Johnson? Where's Chris Johnson? Where's I, Chris Johnson? I tried to get him on the first one. He just didn't. He never responded to me. Oh, that's what happened. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So I bugged the shit out of him. I'm like, Chris, come on, dude. <laughs> so, and he finally, because I, because I, like, I remember, you remember me asking you, like, yeah. hey, send, send me a clip. I can't do yeah. it without, I'm not going to do, run a clip without somebody's okay. Yes. You know? Appreciate that. Yes. Um. So I finally got Chris to send me one. And then the third one. So I have 10 people on this one. Um, it starts with Jason Tardick from The Bachelor. No, no. The, wait, these are actors? No, he, he, well, he was on The Bachelor show, but now he has his own. Uh, tr it's called Trading Secrets Podcast. And he talks about business, entrepreneurship. Oh, okay. It, Jason and I are, are 
are good buddies and he's, he's a great dude. Um, and, and he shows, shares a wealth of knowledge just in the finance game in general. Mm. So I, I, I made this one a little bit more broad. Um, and then the second person was Aristotle. Aristotle. He's dead. No, <laughs> no. Aristotle investments. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> remember Ashley? I'm new to this. I don't know everybody. I don't know every. <laughs> no, I, I, so I've been, I've been, I've been watching Aristotle for a while, um, and I've enjoyed. Uh, I didn't join him on his lives, but I watched a couple of his lives. I just love how he engages with his with his community. I, I was like, that's that's the that's the kind of person right there that I like. How, how does he engage? With. Tell me, I haven't watched anything of his. I mean, shit, he goes live like every day. Oh shit! Yeah. And what does he talk about? He talks. Well, he, he talks about a lot of different things. He he, he tends to talk about a lot of things outside of stocks. Huh. But he 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 starts he he puts stocks in a very basic form, which I can appreciate, you know, because he's you tend to reach reach more people that way, you know. Right. So I just I just like how interactive he is with his audience, you know. Hmm. Um, he's not the. I mean, shit. He has half a million followers on Instagram. And when he goes live, how many does he get? Uh, four or five hundred, probably. Nice. That's a good. Yeah, one. yeah. Um, but it, it's just I have I have a lot of respect for people who, you know, who who have made a very very big name for themselves, but still constantly show up every day. You know. Yeah. So, uh, Aristotle was on there, and then my my good friend Catherine Ross. She she Who's works that? for she works for the street. What's that? It's like a finance. It's kind of like a Bloomberg. Oh, okay. It's like, a, it's like an outlet, right? And gotcha. uh, she she works for them, and she's one of the. This sounds really bad, but she's one of the talking heads. She's one of the analysts. Gotcha. And I I've collaborated with her countless times. Wait, this is the girl that you bring on your live shows, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I've seen her on your live. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You do. So, you do Twitter uh, spaces with her. Yep. Yes, I remember. Yes. Yep. I love Catherine. She's one, she's one of my favorites. Um, I mean, she's, she's, she's interviewed Jim Cramer. She's she, oh, nice. Her, 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 I, I think her biggest uh, minute to fame is during the height of COVID. Thank you for she, saying that. Yes. She interviewed Dr. Fauci. Oh, damn. I was like, I was like, Hey, respect Catherine. That's awesome. <laughs> That's, that is high level, right? That's a high level guest. So, uh, Catherine and then, um, Nima Yamini. Who's so that? he's, he, he's a buddy of mine. He's a, he's, he's a very, very big in business. Gotcha. Uh, really big on TikTok. uh, pretty big on Instagram as well, but he is, he is very, very, he's a business businessman. Gotcha. Um, and then Brandon Carhorns and then, uh, Jaden from T- team bull maybe but there's two yeah, yeah jay dunn jay dunn yes yeah yeah uh simon learner told me about him yeah 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 yep. him and i him and i've been we haven't collaborated on anything but him and i've been talking for a long time mm-hmm. um and then his buddy brandon who's with him uh Bra- i've known brandon for a long time too is and this then- the one that also wears the backwards cap he doesn't wear a hat very much oh okay got no. you um who else was on there? Uh, my buddy Focus Trades. He's from. He's. You heard me mention simpler, simpler trading. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, he trades with uh, Simpler Trading. He's on the Simpler Trading team. Gotcha. Why did you get that guy on your reels? The the guy who made a fortune on Tesla, the Simple Trading guy. He's not really active on social media. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. He 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 doesn't make much content. He's. I, I mean, I might make another one just like. That this that is a compilation of like my mentors, <laughs> mm. you know, because John John is who you're referring to. John is certainly a mentor of mine, and he's he's the best trader I've ever seen, hands down. And uh, I like his ads. I get a lot of his YouTube ads. I like his ads. They're not aggressive. They're very nice, like farmland, like like this, like everything is nice, not in your face kind of. Yeah, ad. he's he's a he's a very quiet man, you know, yes. which which I love. I love that. Mm. Um, He's very kind, you know, um, which I also appreciate. And then I, there's a handful of others on there. I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember. I don't want to rattle off all of them, but yeah, part oh, three is. Guys, 
Why don't you post them on your Twitter as well? Why only are you only post these on IG? I can post them on my Twitter. Uh, no, I can't. No, no, no I'm just them. asking. I, I don't know. I'm just asking because I know a lot of people post their content across the platforms. Because I, I follow you on Twitter and I don't see you posting that stuff on Twitter. That's why. Well, it, well the main reason is because I, I don't think everybody that I had in that video is on Twitter. Got it. So, and I, I don't want to post it and have, you know, only six people on Twitter out of, out of the 10, you know. Got it. Okay. So, um, plus now I can't because I published it on Instagram already. And they, if it has music in it, they won't let you download God, it. Valid. The copyright nonsense. Yeah. So, gotcha. yeah, part three is up. So, uh, you know, I, I was actually I was actually talking to my wife about this today, if, if I'm being honest. And I'm just like, you know, I made this compilation. But like, I, I did this of no benefit to me. Okay. I just do it because I want it, it pumps, it fires me up, you know. And two, I love being that bridge to, you know, between you and a Gerald Peters. Yeah. You know? be, be, because, well, I actually had, I had a lot of, I had a few people ask me this, like, like, bro, why are you putting together a post for your competitors? I'm like, they're not my competitors, man. Yeah. I was like, because one thing, when it all comes down to the end of the day, we are all either a traders, yeah. investors, or, or, or business people or something. At the end of the day, yeah, we are creators. But at the end of the day, we're traders. Yeah. We're investors. We're, we're businessmen, businesswomen, you know. So that's, that's our bread and butter right there. So when it comes to content creation, they're not my, they're not my competitors. They're my peers. Correct. Right. You know, and there's, that's a big, big, big difference, you know, um, you know, like, for example, you have a book. I have a book. I don't charge for mine personally. GP has a handful of books, right? Anybody watching this live right now could literally own all of those books. And they do. A lot of my traders went and bought GP's books. A lot of GP's people bought my book, 100%. Yeah. So and same, same thing with courses or chat whatever the case is i know pe there are people a, ton, a lot of people in my chat room who are also in gp's chat room yes and vice versa and chris jo yours chris johnson gp because i people have told me they're in all three because you guys are like all you know close friends right so that just that's just proof right there that you know there is not i mean you cannot have a uh, shit, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, scarcity mindset. Correct. You know, it's, it's that right there. Whenever I first started to fully understand that it's changing my mind from a scarcity mindset to an abundance mindset. Correct. Everything changed. Correct. Everything changed, man. And I, re I almost remember the exact moment that, 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 that changed. What was the exact moment? Tell me what happened. I remember it was it was right when I first started trading, man. It was it was probably within my first year. Um, I just remember I was getting back in the gym. My I was getting my mind right, I was trying to dig out of a massive hole, and I was in a depressive depressive state. It was just a bad time in my life. So I just thought, you know what? There are a lot of factors that I can't change, but the one thing I can change is how I help my mind is is you know and, and how i look at things so i just started working on that every day I started writing things down like three things i'm grateful for you know that that went such a long way you know something as simple as i really I, i'm really grateful for the new pair of socks i bought today or, or just something small so right. that trained my brain to start thinking abundantly and be grateful and then i remember i was sitting one sitting in my room one day and i, I was praying the rosary um, and I was just doing some meditations on the rosary and I was just sitting there, just, just sitting, you know, just, just letting my mind just wander, you know, and I just remember it hit me in the exact moment that I, my mind is, is in fact changing and that this, there's so much opportunity in the world and, um, you just got to go get it. You know, it's there, it's right there. You just got to go get it. Um, and that, that was the moment it, it, it was so profound. I can't really put quite put it into words, but it was such a profound moment. I agree with you hundred percent that I've always been like that. My thing is give it all away. 
uh, let everyone come together. You know, my, my live on IG, I bring everybody on. And everybody, when they come up, they always ask. I remember when I had, um, what's his name? Come on, Brain. Einstein of Wall Street, Peter Touchman on my live. He yeah. goes, oh, I sell a course. Uh, you don't mind if I talk about it? I have like a whole, all these. I said, what? You're coming on my show. You sell whatever you want. You have, you've been trading for 35 years. The, what the hell? He's like, do you want something? I said, no, just come on the show, sell it all. But I'm like, don't talk about it the whole hour. Sprinkle it in about your course and what you sell. But you know, like, come on. Yes. And he was, a, to me, he I was mean, like, I, how, how could you say no to Peter? I mean, come on. Yeah, I know. He's, he's such, he, you just want, I just want to hug the guy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I met him. Uh, when I was, I went to Wall Street, he got, he's so little. I know in videos, he does, he's tiny. But his <laughs> energy is off the walls. He is I like, love it. When I was in Wall Street with him on the trading floor, like everybody, like it's, he's a rock star. You know how we think of him as? He really is. Everyone's like, Peter, Peter, what's up? And he's like, yeah, my man, my man, my man. What's up, my man? Yeah, my man. My, and I'm like, my God. Yeah, I, I, I love me some Peter Tushman, man. He's He's uh, has he been on I, your show? Not yet, not yet. Okay. We, I mean, shit, we we text back and forth. Gotcha. So so no, I we haven't gotten around to it. He's he's invited me to do a couple things. Just that whenever he invited me, I was I think I was traveling. But um, yeah, I, I still got to make my way up to New York, man. I got yeah. What what's taking you so? I, See, now well, work on the, it. By the way. Your old excuse doesn't work anymore. They don't care about that anymore. Just so we that's, clear. That, see, that's where I was going with this. So <laughs> that that was the first obstacle, right? Yes. And, and, and there's there wasn't hardly anything any of us could do about that. Yes. But um, now, like I, I'm sitting here, I was thinking about this just the other day. I'm just like, damn, I got like ten people who live in like Jersey, Manhattan area that I could call right now. <laughs> yes. If I were going to New York. Yes. Um, Sean Deckmar's in Pennsylvania, by the way. Yeah, which is you know spitting distance, pretty much. Yeah, right there, right there. Um, you, you got Peter, um, Jay Woods, who's an, uh, another uh, trader buddy of mine who works on the floor. Um, Sarge, who's another ex trader from the floor. There, these all these guys are in are in New York. Um, Scotty V, or no, he's in he's in Florida now. Um. So why? So Ashton, plan. I'll help you if you want. Plan the event. Plan it. Headline it, and get everyone together. You are the progenitor of all of this. You really are. So do you know what peer space is? No. Okay. So I'll text it to you. Peerspace.com lets you book any kind of event venue that you want. What a GP use. Come on, brain. He used that thing to sell tickets to his New Orleans event. Eventbrite. Uh, Use Eventbrite. Yeah. Get the events, uh, get the peer space. They have next level events. I'm talking high level stuff. Um, get the guests. You got me. When You just give me, I, I need one month's notice and I'll be there for you, whatever you want. But pull it out, make, you can make it happen. You are the guy. Well, here's what I'm thinking. If I, if I come up to New York, it would probably be more something like just getting together with you, go grab, oh. go grab, some, go grab some dinner, okay. meet some other people. Because if I'm going to do an event, like, it's going to be an event, you know, gotcha. um, which which an event like that needs to be really well thought out, really well prepared, especially if invite. I'm not looking to invite like three, three speakers. I'm looking to invite like 15. Gotcha. Yeah. We're talking like a mini. Uh, uh, shit, what, what the hell do you call uh, fireside it? chat? Sort of, but but on steroids, What what's the. The damn it, the big conference out in California where they talk about comics and stuff. TED, TED, TED Talk? No, not TED Talk. Uh, comic Con. Oh, Comic Con. Yes, I, I'm talking like something like not to, not that big, of course, but like call it like Stock Con or something. You I can't don't know. call it that because people think the stock market's a scam. It's a con. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Or uh, no, I I'm with you because I was at an event in Miami with Brad Lee. You, you know who the real Bradley yeah, is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be on his podcast in two weeks. I'll be on his podcast dropping bombs. I'll be on it. He invited Dude. me on it. Dude. Did get? Tell. I talked to Brad. This was about a year ago. And I was just like, 
would love to collaborate with you. I'm not not going to his show, just like any form of collaboration. He was just like, nah, fam. I'm just like, okay. Wait, why did he say no? I don't know. He just said no. Oh, I'll bring it up. I'm going to, when I go to his podcast, I'm like, listen, you invited me to your podcast. Come on, one live with me and talk about business, whatever you want to talk about. And then I'll have you jump on too. And I'll introduce. How about it? All right. I'll give him shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's awesome. He's awesome. No, he, 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 seems like a, he seems like a cool dude. <laughs> he is. Listen, you know how a lot of people on camera are one way, but behind the scenes, they're the real way. Like Gerald? <laughs> Yo, you know what's funny that Ashton said that? You guys think GP is the guy who yells and screams and all that. He is the nicest, the nicest, calmest oh, human gosh. you will ever meet. Everything he does is so chill. I'm aggressive he, like crazy. Dude, he came to my house. Yeah, and- I he came to my house and he met my wife. He met my daughter and he, he shook my daughter's hand like with one hand and then covered it with his other hand and shook her hand so gracefully. Oh, no, nah, he's a Southern man. Yeah. And, and he was so kind to my wife. So, so respectful. Um, my, my wife adored him. You know, I was just like, that's, that made me just as much as I love Gerald. I, I talked to him. I don't know how many times I've known him forever. I was just like, that, that just made it official, you know. He's 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 such a nice human being. Correct. So going back to the Bradley thing, Bradley is li- to your – he speaks exactly what – he doesn't care. Like, when I was having lunch with him, he was telling me about a story at the time he took cocaine. And this is public. This is not a secret for those of us to say, why are you exposing him? He's talked about it publicly on his podcast, so this is not a secret conversation. And he's talking about it so openly and all the stuff. And his wife is right there. And his wife is like, yeah, I know. He's like full transparency, full bluntness. So I'm excited to be on the Dropping Bombs podcast. So I'm like, yes, that'll be a lot of fun. That'll nice. be a lot of fun. Good for you, but man. That's, that should be fun. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I'm excited for that. That's going to be the biggest uh, guest ever. He has a massive following. So the reason I said that is when I was hanging out with him, he had a mastermind of like 15 people who would go on stage. Um, Boom, 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 boom. And the next person, boom, 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 boom. So I see what you're trying to say on that. All you need is two things, a date and the venue, and then tell your influencer friends. And you got me again. I just need one month notice. And you got my, you got me. You want it for one day, two days. Theirs was two days long, just nonstop. That was how many guests. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah you, I mean, that's kind of where I'm going with this. I, it would, it would be a two day event probably yes. it would it would have to be you know um i mean that's considering on how many people actually commit to come and, it, and the question is okay where the hell do you do it you know uh, peer space peer space use that no um, i'm talking like like what city oh well you know it's gonna be florida you already know that well it could be new york it could be florida it could be here in kansas city because it's 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 in the center of everything it could be in vegas could texas maybe i don't know well, see, so how about this? You again, you got, I would, I would post a story about it right now, but I don't have my uh, IG, but post a story and post the four major cities and see where your traders are. And then when I'm back, let's talk about this again and I'll post it on my stories and just see where majority of the people are. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, shit, the mat, the vast majority are on the East coast. It That's seems true. like that is yeah. true. There's not many traders from California. Have you noticed that? No, what you, uh, my analytics tells me that I have a massive following on the West Coast. Massive. I, I just checked mine today, and it's like it's heavy, heavy skewed East Coast. Mine's heavy skewed West Coast, baby boy. Interesting. Yeah, because uh, you know it's funny. Um, well, I'm going to Bali. I'm going to go to Bali soon and live there indefinitely, like one way flight after my podcast with Bradley and. The, one of the main reasons I'm loving that I have a one-way trip to uh, Bali is because when it's 8 o'clock in the morning when I wake up, West Coasters, it's perfect for them to watch my live show. I'm like, yeah. that works. I don't have yeah. to move my life for my lives. You know, wh- one, one person I'd like to collaborate with, you know Cameron Fuses? No, who's that? Cameron Fus. So Cameron, I mean, he, he's been in the game for a long time. He's been trading for like 15 years Still a relatively young cat, too. So I, re- I remember whenever I first started trading, I was watching him on YouTube. Mm. So he's kind of he's kind of like in the Umar cat- category. Oh, that, what, Cameron? No, why, why haven't I heard of this guy? What's his like 
group chat called? I, I don't even know. He's, oh. he's changed it. He's changed it a few times, but he's more in the, he's more in the crypto space now than yeah. Yeah. Uh, he, he started, he started, he started in stocks, but now he's predominantly in crypto, but, um, because the only person to... on Umar's level that I know is Tim Sykes and Umar. That's the only two I know on their level. He's 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 in that category. Ah, I guarantee I you, if you ask Umar, uh, if he knows who Cameron Foose is, I guarantee well, you, he knows. Who this Umar is. knows everybody. I met him at. Oh yeah, I, what am I talking about? Well, I didn't meet Umar through you. I met Umar through randomness. I think Simon really talked about him heavily, and I met him. Yeah, in yeah, 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 yeah. S Simon. I, Simon is kind of under his umbrella, isn't he? he? He's in his group chat. Yes, he's in yeah. his uh, stock market lab. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, I, I met him in person. He's so that man is so focused, business oriented. Because we we were we talked for a while. He took me out for coffee, even though I don't drink coffee. He's like, "What do you mean your course is free?" He goes, "What do you mean you give away the?" Di he's like, "What are you doing?" It's like <laughs> he's like, he's like what? He's trying to understand. He's like, "But why?" I'm like, the course has always been free. I've never charged. I'm like, the physical book, yes, even though this is sold out, you can't get this anymore. I'm like, the digital at my 9 p.m. show on IG, I just give away the code because that's Sean Deckmar's event. Sean Deckmar's people is like, all right, this is the table to sell your products. Professor, where your book? I'm like, no, I'm giving my book away. They're like, what? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to give it all away. It's all good. He, it's, he's so focused. He's like, that I can't, I'm not going to talk about it because some of the stuff is personal. That man has things in the sidelines that he never posts about them. I'm like, whoa, you're doing that? He goes, yeah. He's, oh, man. Listen, I can't say one thing he said. It's cool. He's massive in real estate. Like, Ashton, he's bigger than GP on real estate. But he's like, I never talk about that because that's nobody's business. I like that. Yes. Massive and, on real estate. And uh, there's... I, I'm actually a big fan of that, too. I mean, I, I have so many things that I'm also working on that. I don't, I don't tell anybody. The Good. only person on this planet who knows about them are my wife. Good. I agree. And that's, by, and, that's by, and that's by design. You know, I just, I don't, I share a lot about me and my personal life and everything else, but there's just some things that I like to, I, I like to build them before I start to reveal them. If you know what I mean, you know? No, I feel you. I'm, I'm the same. When I see you posting your wife and daughter, I'm like, God bless you. Cause I wouldn't with so much evil eye and negativity and drama. Mm -hmm. I, I, you, do you know stock market wolf? Yes. He used to blur out his wife and his children in his videos and pictures. And for some reason, he stopped doing that. And like, this man is good that he does that because the people are so negative and evil, the things they say. So I'm like, for me. Well, it, well if, if they, if, no one has ever said anything about my wife or my daughter uh, negatively. Good. Um, but even if they did, that would stop with me. And that, 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 that doesn't that doesn't affect me good there's there, there's nothing anytime ever that joe blow from pasadena california could say about my daughter that could possibly even affect me good you know so and, and plus you know gary v has a lot of influence on me whenever it comes to this you know it's just showing a lot of empathy like what where does that person have to be in their life for them to even remotely think that's okay to say Correct. you know valid. That's valid. so so you know I, I i try to be as patient as i can especially being in the content game you kind you have to have some inkling of patience or else or else we're not I gonna mean, make you, it you'll 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 last three days and then you'll just say screw this and then off to the next thing but um we gotta get actually, gary v we we have we gotta get the man on top of the pyramid dude i was this close i was this Tell me the story. Tell me the story. Oh, okay, so um, I was talking, you know, I was t t telling you that I'm buddies with Jason Tardic, okay, and he has this podcast, right? Jason invited me onto his podcast right after Gary V was on. No, I almost had him. Wait, I told in Jason, person I or virtual? It was virtual. It was virtual. Okay, gotcha. Because uh, this is during the height of everything, right? Gotcha. And I told Jason, I'm just like. He's like, oh, by the way, Gary Vaynerchuk's going to be our guest before you. I'm just like, what? <laughs> On the same day? On the, the, same, the same episode. Oh. It, oh, no, no, no. It, it, well, technically, it, it was the same episode, but he ended up chopping it up into different segments. No, no, but you literally, it, it was him and then you. Yes, yes. And I told Jason, I'm like, he told me this like 
maybe two hours before this happened. I was like, okay, first of all, that's a dick move. Uh, secondly, second of all, if I get on while Gary is on, is on your, uh, is on live, I'm going to say something to him. Of course. And it, Jason's like, have at it, man. And I got on and, and it, Jason told me this after the fact. I wish he would have told me beforehand, but I got on as he was getting off because uh, Gary V Gary V's like this, right? Yeah. A million yeah. miles an hour. Yeah. And then he just abruptly stops. So I thought I was going to have like a few seconds of overlap, but no, he fucking, he cut it and he was gone. Uh, so Jason told me after the fact, he was just like, yeah, yeah. He only gave us like 14 minutes exactly. And he had, he had, he had to go. I was just like, well, you know, he's a busy guy, but I was like, oh, it was this close. Listen, we'll get there. We'll all get there, you know, because God willing, like I'm going to be on the Bradley show you know, in two weeks and Bradley's friends with Grant Cardone. You know, yep. if, if they, it's, it's all, everything comes back one way or another, one way or another. It's, 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 it's so amazing um, to see everybody just, just doing well, you know? Um, and, and, and I, I know people are watching this, you know, and they're like, oh, you guys are kind of talking just about yourselves here. But I mean that. And all of us included, and including personalities, content creators, as well as new traders trying to get into the game. That that right there is the most. Oh, it's such an incredible feeling. You know, I've had people come to me um, several times in the past two two years saying, you know, hey, I did this because of you. I'm like, no, no, no. I was just, I was the crutch that helped you get there, but you did it. You know. You push the buttons, you put in the time. I can't take credit for that. Um, and just seeing everybody just like, hey, the best ones are, bro, I lost so much money. Like I was trading, I was doing this, I was doing that, I was following this person blindly. I was, I was just all over the place. But then I focused and I just took one step at a time. I, I learned what you were teaching me, but I put my own spin on it, which is important. Um, and it, I wish I just, I just wish I would have started this from the get go, but you live and you learn. I'm so glad that I stumbled across X, Y, Z at one point in time. That that's the best shit right there for me. Correct. Even though we're talking about ourselves and uh, our, who we're, we're friends with, who we're building with, all that comes back to the, our viewers, comes back to our audience because at the end they asked him when we bring on guests on our live, that's for them. It's for them to learn from them. We're like, Oh yeah. Because people tell me all the time, Professor, I know you say X, Y, Z 10 times, but when another person says it, it double reinforces what you've been saying. I'm like, all right, that works for me. Yeah, that it, for it, me. That, that's a great point because there have been times, I mean, there have been times when we, we've gone live and with whoever, and we're all saying the same thing. Yes. But you may say it in a slightly different way to where it resonates with somebody that, oh, well, Ashton's been saying it this entire time. But now that the way the professor said, okay, that makes more sense to me. Yeah. It happens all the time. Yeah. Yeah. But I got, I got to go, man. I got, I got go. my wife uh, barking at me. So. No, no, I love it. Thank you for coming on. I miss seeing you. I was thinking about you the other day. I'm like, Brand, I'm going to find a way to sneak your name onto the live with Brad Lee on the podcast because I feel like I literally was thinking, I'm like, he's given me so much. He doesn't even know it. I got to find a way to make it back to him 10 times over. And I got to find so, a way to sneak your name in the conversation. Yeah. If you, if you mention my name, he's probably going to go, who the hell is that? But I was actually, uh, this was a while ago. I was looking back through our messages be between me and Brad on Instagram. And uh, yeah, we, we, we exchanged words. We, we, we had a conversation. It was very, very brief. And it was some time ago. So he probably doesn't even remember who I am, but. No, just uh, to bring you up while all the people that watch his podcast, they'd be like, oh, who the hell is that? Let me look him up. Just giving you that opportunity. Yeah. 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 Well, don't worry about me, man. If you want to slip the word, cool, but you, you have fun, man. Have a good time. That's going to be some good content. Thank you, baby boy. Thank you for jumping on the live. I miss you. Um, and let's do the covered calls. I'll text you. Let's do that in about two to three weeks. Perfect, man. That sounds good to me. Thank you, Ashton. See ya. Bye. See you. All right, guys, if you're not following him, please go follow him right now. Um, IG Ashton Nolan. Please make sure it's the one um, 
But there's so many scammers that pretend to be him. I was going to say the one I follow, but my account is down. It's just the one where, just check the views, man. Just look at his reels. Look at the dates. Look at the dates. Look at the views and the comments. That's the only way for those that haven't been following him. At A-S-H-T-O-N space N-O-L-A-N-D. And for those watching this in the future as a recording, I'll drop his stuff in the description. Go follow that man. His content is awesome. Um, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Um, Sebastian, if you're still there, jump on. I'm, I'm down. I, I don't know what time is it. It's only 1020. I, I, if you want to, if, I don't, let me see if he's there. I don't even know. Sebastian, his iPhone is there. I don't know if he's there, but um, if you want to jump on, Sebastian, I'm down. Talk about that trade he took with Revlon. I'm cool. I'm with it. I have the energy to go on. You know, my entire week next week is dedicated to NFT. <laughs> That's all I'm doing next week. I'll give it a few. Let me look at the comments. I haven't looked at the comments. Uh, maybe that's where we'll host. Pasadena is a hop skipper. Wait, what's up, Sabad? Good to see you. Uh, thank you, Professor. You're welcome, uh, Jose. And look how you spell his name. And look how you spell his name. Yeah, the right way to spell his name, but people always get caught up on that. People always get caught up on that. He knows about the 626. I'm assuming that's an area code for Pasadena. I'm assuming. Um, all right. I guess Sebastian is not there. I know where he's. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much for coming. Happy Friday. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate all the people watched, all the people that like the content and stick around. You know, I know my, um, I'm here. I know it's not like the IG ways, but for me, it's the same. As long as I'm here, someone wants to watch and learn, I'll be here for you guys. I will see you back Tuesday. I should be back home by 8 p.m. from the NFT event. Uh, but yeah, next week we'll do trend lines. We'll do mindset. People jump on and want to talk about mindset. I'll drop the zoom link and then we'll do trend lines. That'll be the lesson for next Tuesday. Thank you so much, everyone. Good night. Have a great show. Oh, what do I say? I forgot the thing I say. May you be profitable. I think the markets are closed on Monday. Pretty sure they are Juneteenth. I don't know if that's a, I, I don't know if they are, but I think they are. I hope you have a profitable week next week. Cut your losses short. Remember, the market's in a downtrend, so make sure that you have strong stop losses so you don't take too big of a loss. Keep that in mind, okay? And if you can't do a mental stop loss, put a physical one. Whatever helps. Yes, I know the other side sees it. Maybe put it a little lower. Maybe put it a little lower. So boom. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Professor. Then everybody. Uh, who's talking? Hey, it's Marcos. Marcos, what's up? Hey, before you want to go, I just want to say thank you again, brother. Thank you for everything. It was nice meeting you finally. You're welcome. I appreciate you. Um, I'm excited that when I get back on IG, I want you to jump on IG. Okay? All right, cool. I'll see you Tuesday. Thank you, baby boy. See you on Tuesday.